Welcome to WolfNet Radio Special Edition Learn Alpha Strike 350. Tonight I'll be your host, Sean Diablo Goolsby. Today, being Saturday, the 11th of February, 2023, we've got Andrew the Minnow Crawl. Good afternoon, everyone. To the right, we have Ken. Good afternoon. And to the left, we have Mike. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome, everybody. I shall not be commenting a whole lot tonight, or today, rather. Um, I'm going to be passing the reins over to Andrew. I'll be answering questions on the YouTube stream. So with no further ado, I shall pass the reins over to Andrew. Like I said, good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, Pirate Signal from uh, Minneapolis, our first ever stream, which I'm real excited about. Um, like we said, we've got uh, Ken on the right. Ken is a longtime Battletech player, uh, has played a couple of Alpha Strike games, has not played in a 350 match. And we've got uh, Mike on the left. Mike is new to Alpha Strike, new to Battletech. Correct. And we had an introductory game, I think, about a month and a half ago. Yep. We had a 350 mat, but we were just learning the game at that point. Just the so. We are going to be playing stand-up fight today. Stand-up fight is our is our standard go-to scenario for teaching the game of 350. Um, 350 rules can be found on wolfstragoons.com. Look for uh, Alpha Strike Core tournament rules, and there's a link there to get our PDF. Um, so, like I said, today we're playing um, 350. Uh, one of the reasons or the goals of 350 was so that. We could have a standardized way of people being able to build armies, go to your local game store, go to your buddy's place, like Sean is graciously hosting today, and have all of the conversation of what do I need to bring taken care of, right? You bring your 350s, we roll on the chart that's in the, the rule book of what scenario we're going to play, and set the terrain up and start going. Terrain is 36 by 42 mat, um, 10 pieces of terrain. We uh, have primary and secondary terrain pieces. In this instance, primary terrain is all uh, hill structures and secondary terrain is all uh, ancillary, which is trees and water. Um, when you get to the table, right, we have, oh, I almost screwed that up. We have the MUL list from the top of the page. You come to the table, you reach across, say, hey, I'm Mike, hey, I'm Ken, here's my 350 list. You sh share, share your three, full 350 with each other. The reason this is, you kind of get an idea of what your opponent brings. Hey, does he is he heavy on helicopters? So I want to make sure that I have my flak in. Um, has he got a lot of vehicles? Maybe I want to have a unit with heat because they deal extra damage to vehicles. Um, those are the kind of things that you're looking for when you do that exchange of list. A lot of times during a casual meet or a friendship game like this, you may even hand over all of your cards, right? Because brand new players, usually we don't know the MUL like those of us who've been looking at it every day for the last four years. But that way, you guys decided on friendly. I had a premier event though, nine chances out of 10, you would never be handing your cards over to your opponent. Those are kind of a closely held secret. Um, so we're playing stand-up fight. Typically, you wouldn't have your 200 list out right away. We would set terrain and then bring your 200 to it. I can't stress enough for play people watching that when you get your 350 built, the next step is getting your 200s broke down. Try and think about the scenario and what the objectives are and get your 200s pre-built when you come to the table with maybe a unit to swap in or out because of vehicles or because of VTOL, that kind of thing. It will speed up getting to gameplay much quicker. It's one of the things that I think we struggled with. We struggle with at Premier Events is People don't have their 200s put together, and then they get into analysis. Pull, uh, they just, oh my God, this person's bringing this, and oh, I need to rebuild my 200 to try and affect it. I promise you it's not going to affect the game that much. Okay? So, all of that being said, so we've exchanged lists. We got our 200s. We know the scenario that we're playing. So, a 350 match is uh, played on a 36 by 42 map. Um, we have 10 pieces of terrain. Uh, like I said, I think I said this already. Sorry, we started over, so I'm not entirely sure. We what started covered. so good that first time. <laughs> it was beautiful. Well, we covered it, we have it. So uh, we have primary hills and we have secondary terrain. So 
we have our forces built, we have the table set, so our first role is to determine who is going to place the first piece of terrain or who is going to decide whether they're going to win first initiative. It's, it's, a, it's a quirky thing. We'll cover that as we keep going, um, but I want to work, we'll, we'll work through that. So I'm going to have, um, as soon as Goolsby gets his 900 sets of dice out of the dice tray. Yeah, sorry guys, I forgot to tell you we're, we're using these dice. Those ones show up good on the camera. Oh, <coughs> so pick your dice. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So I got the yellows. Okay, so Ken is orange and Mike is yellow. Let's go ahead and roll in the dice box, see who plays the terrain first. We had a seven and a five. Five. So, Mike. You can, at this point, choose whether you want to be first initiative winner when it comes to the first turn of the game, which I'll point out, typically you're going to always want to set first piece of terrain. Okay. Typically. Um, so, when you're going to set terrain, you're going to pick a piece, okay. and you're going to put it on a table where you'd like to put it. Now, I will give a little insight, some ideas, because people... I'm hearing from the community that there are folks that don't like this, this place terrain. They would rather have the terrain set and then pick sides. Well, one of the reasons we build terrain is those that were at LVO, <laughs> if you decided that you were wanted to play on the other side of the table and we had 32 people doing that, it would have been a disaster, right? right? So by placing terrain, it allows you to kind of build your side the way you want and also try and counter something that your opponent may have. Like vehicles. Vehicles, you put a big hill in the middle, right? Because then they got to go around. You want to when you're placing terrain, you want to think about lanes of fire, okay? So the other thing is, so the line on the map here is the edge of the map. You will deploy two inches in front of this, and that will be the front where your front hex goes, okay? Um, typically what I do with, with, with hills and that kind of thing is I will try and build um, um, firing uh, bricks, right? So I might put a big hill here because your Daishi can move eight, right? So he can move eight up, and he's behind a, behind a hill here. And same thing for you. You're Alice. You may want to do something like that. You may want to put a big hill in the middle and attempt to put a, a level two in there so that you can work around that and get your lanes of fire. So you guys, uh, so things can go up, right? So if you put the big terrain piece out, any of the terrain pieces can go up on top of that as long as it fits, okay? If you have two things on the same level, they need to be two inches apart, even on top of the big hill, okay? These are, these are broken egg um, tournament templates that we're trying. Typically, I have smaller templates. I might actually cut some of these to be a little bit smaller so they can go on the smaller hill structures. Um, we're trying some, trying the, I just wanted to see what these look like on the stream today, so um, have at it. Okay, so I'll go ahead and place first. Then. Yep. I like his idea about destroying your tank options. <laughs> All right. And then we go back and forth. Is it be two inches from? Nope, you can go right to the, so the only change that we do have we're calling this the fill rule, okay? Say this was a hill or a building of some kind. When you place a terrain, you cannot have it touch two edges. If a terrain piece is touching an edge, it must be two inches away from the second edge. What, what Phil did was he put a building in the corner like this for, King, for a headhunter and then buried an infantry unit back here so you couldn't get that to us. the guy, yeah. So, Phil is, Phil's the reason for the change. He, he should be proud. Um, so that is a, that will be a forthcoming errata addendum that will be coming up, so. Can I measure? Oh, if you want to, absolutely. There's nothing says you can't. Okay. Phil just commented, I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, Phil, you are. Cider Company rules. All right. 
Oh, so let's let's talk about. Let's, are you guys familiar with how these pieces of terrain work? Exactly. Okay, so trees for every inch move, it's an extra inch. If you are within two inches of the edge, there is the concept of occupy and intervening terrain. Okay, intervening terrain is that two inches. If you're within two inches, you get the bonus for fire receiving. You don't pay the penalty for shooting out. Okay. Water. Every unit that you take damage from, you need to make what they call a breach roll. Your breach roll is skill plus two. If you fail that, you make a crit roll. Okay? All right. Hovers are exempt, correct? Right? Hovers, hovers, hovers and wheeled vehicles cannot go in trees. Um, wheeled and tracked vehicles cannot go in water. Um, hovers can treat this as, as clear ground. And they don't do great rolls because they are immobilized. Correct. But if they get immobilized... Oh, when you're in water, when you're in water, you also receive a plus one for partial cover. Typically, what I, that's another note. This is the way I look at it is, when you see fire breaks, right, or when I see, hey, I think that person is attempting to use this as a way to get partial cover and, and shoot out. An easy way to help negate that, put trees in front of it, okay? That's kind of the game that gets played during this, this setup. The trees are considered uh, two inches, right? Uh, trees are two inches tall, um, and six inches of trees, if your line of sight goes through six inches, you do not have line of sight. It's kind of like the three hex rule in, in the battle There you go. Uh, keep going. I'm gonna grab my. I'm gonna grab my tool. My tool's over here. <laughs> grab my tool. <laughs> not on camera, you're not. Oh, you may not know me well enough. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> All right. So we'll use this. So two inch tool. Two inch tool. That's what my wife tells me. <laughs> Good thing these are listed as not, uh, not children. <laughs> <laughs> you actually have to specify that on here. So it has to be on the map. So, yep. There you go. Nicely done. I like that. People have been asking where you can get the templates. These are custom templates that Wolfnet has made. Um, you get the, oh. these are custom templates that Wolfnet has made. These are prize report that you get when attending any of our tournaments. So that's what's being. Do you have to? You have to win. Win a place to get one? Usually, usually top five. Um, LVO, we gave one to everybody because we were so honored that everybody came out to, to come play with us. It was. It was a phenomenal trip, and everyone made two inches, buddy. You're right. <laughs> everybody made a, a, a real effort to be there, and I was. We were all thankful for everybody. So everybody got one. And in in an upcoming Alpha Strike product, there may be two of those. Not exactly like that, but a, a card, a stiff card, It's very something similar to that. So be on the lookout for that. All right, so can you get the last place? And this is all part of one yep. piece of terrain? Yep. I think I need to reprint my trees and have them be evergreens now that I got that there. Right. So. <clears throat> I think the fight's going to be over here. What's that? I think the fight's going to be over here. Not necessarily. It might be forcing you over here. Sure. All right, so we have the board set. So now we are to what we call the deployment roll. So you're going to make a 2d6 roll and you're going to make a 2d6 roll. Just like initiative, the initiative winner places last. So let's roll that. Dice cam brought to you by Ares Games and Miniatures. Ooh. I should have used my Ares dice. Ah, I should have. Seven, so I go first. Get a three. Okay. So what we, what we do first here is you have one, two, three, four, five units, and you have six units. So this is where the rules go a little wonky, right? So the 
an unequal number of units rule um, is in we have found to be a little bit difficult. What we are going to do today is what we're going to call front loading. Okay, instead of waiting until he has two more or two times more than you to move his extra unit, we're going to have you move two your first round until we get equal, and we'll continue to evaluate as the game goes on. Of at some point, he may get you down to three units and he has four, or vice versa, right? You get him down to three, you get down to four. You're going to move two, and then we'll go one to one, okay? It, um, it makes the game much more straightforward. So, uh, so I you won, won so, so can you deploy two first, please? I hope this is how my rolls go all night. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a dice game. <laughs> Randall Bird says there's an yep. image. So again, again, with, again that's kind of where the tool comes in. You can lay that there, and then the front edge of your your hat or your uh, there you go. Uh, do you have your? I do. Okay. I should have brought more. I'm still I'm still repacking my tournament kit from LVO, so. You guys need movement modifier? Or nope, we got, every, we got all that all covered. If you have another template, that would be awesome. I have another template. All right, so Ken, I'm going to let you use, use right. that one, and Mike, you can okay. use that one. Drops the big dog. <clears throat> oh, you should have. So oh, now place two. Place two. Place I'm two. sorry, I forgot. That was my bad. Mine too. As the overseer of this, I should have caught that right away. My bad. Yeah, come on, Andrew. Get on um, top of I it. failed again. Guess what? Is it safe I'll this? probably do it again. Yep. You almost knocked it over once. Oh, I'm... Uh, placing units near each other. Is there a room limit? Nope. There's, they just cannot occupy the same space. Sorry, but I left the dice game up too long. So since these are deploying on this, uh, what you would what you would do is deploy deploy, the unit, that, first. deploy that first, and then. And then Okay. No, you can do two, one of two things, right? Set it on top. Or when set it when you have him deployed, mm -hmm. you could deploy the battle armor next to them, and then as the first move, say they're mounting. Mm -hmm. Or if the idea is you're going to mount them and drop them off someplace first turn, mm -hmm. you can say they're mounted on this unit. Okay. And typically what, what I like to have is if they're externally mounted on an Omni or x mac mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'll hitch it on the back of the hex okay. so that your opponent remembers that if they shoot this unit, every hit that hits, you're going to pick that one die up and then a five or six it hits the battle armor. Okay. Otherwise, internally, you don't need to worry about it, mm -hmm. right? It's just another, I'm, I'm big on trying to keep as much information on the table that you can just to help everybody and that's one that I, that I think helps. Mm -hmm. Just to a cityscape. Mm -hmm. This is different. Son and I have been using the boxes that they give you for the Alpha Strike. That's our terrain. And then you declare if that is mounted or not. Mounted, yes, sir.
Sebastian, welcome from Germany. That's awesome. What time is it in Germany? I'm rather pleased that we're streaming internationally. That's the last one. All right. So now we are to, everything is deployed. So now we're going to roll first initiative. Now, remember when we made that terrain roll? Yep. This is that round where you could say, I want to win first initiative. Okay. If you would have chosen that and Ken would have set first, we wouldn't make this roll. You would just move first. Okay. Does that, does that kind of make sense? Yep. We got to roll back just a little bit, but yep. that's where that comes into play. So. Because you pick first, you it's still a a, a, roll, a chance of a roll to still move last if you want. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see initiative. Eight. Seven. Oh. All right. There so. On my winning streak. There you go. <laughs> you move first. The dice right. call eventually. Can you measure from the back of the hex? I typically uh, let's let's talk about that in a minute. So. Um, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to bump you out of the way. So when we talk about measuring stuff, right, and everyone has their own way of doing things. Can you see this okay, Sean? Sure can. Okay. You bet I'm um, watching this. Typically, we'll, we'll see people say, oh, well, he's a six-inch move, so I'm going to try and do it in the middle. Don't do that. Okay? There's a lot of variance that can happen when you try and find the middle. Let me let me just do a quick little refocus with well, the... Okay. Uh, um, you're going to demonstrate front to yeah. front, right? Okay. Yeah. Let me just do a quick little zoom in here. Okay, hold on. All right, you're good. All right. So I've seen a lot of people will say, well, I'm going to measure from the middle, right? Don't do that, okay? Because there's variance and there's a lot of fudge. And as of right now, people uh, have been very, very cool and very, very good about movement. Um there's a couple of times where I've called a person out and said, that seems, a, that seems a little long, okay? What I typically tell people or what I like to see is I'll put that six inch on the back of the hex. And the reason I go back of the hex is because now when I move it, right? Now when I move it, instead of if I did it from the front, right? I'd slide this forward and then this metal thing catches on the miniature and all that hard work you spent painting your miniature goes out the window because you're going to chip it, right? But if I go from the back and I place it on the back, I'm not touching that miniature and I'm not banging it up. Make sure that you stay consistent, right? You typically, the other problem that you'll have is, is like a dasher, right? I'm going to measure from here and I got to bend it around. You can go to here, right? Put your finger down and then measure again from there. That's typically what we see people do. Um, you can try and bend. I've seen some people bring extra hex bases and move them to, to measure and, and then, then go again. again. That's that's actually a, a great idea to have just an extra hex base, um, maybe even with a little a little handle on it so you can easily pick it up and not. That's actually I'm going to add that to the kit. So um, there's my spiel on measuring. Right or wrong, it's. An opinion. It's a good opinion. into the tree here my any extra so what you would what I would do is from where you started mm -hmm. measure the distance to the edge of the tree 
Okay. And then if you have, you need a full two inches when you get to the edge of the tree. You need to have a full two inches to make that first full inch in. You can't, well, you can't go seven and a half and then go. I have a quarter, you know, I have half an inch, so I'm going to spend a quarter and I'm going to, I'm on base, okay. right? Okay. You need to pay that first full inch into the terrain that you're going into. Okay. No uh, as far as then, move, well, I guess he's attacking. So he's got the same as me because he's got... Because, so, this is an odd thing. Okay, we're going to talk about this just a minute too, is mounted infantry. Mounted infantry, as of right now, as a fifth printing, still have initiative. So a move that you could make is, my infantry are going to stay mounted. That's a valid move as far as Alpha Strike and the way it's written right now. Okay? Um, you could say they're dismounting, and then they, the act of dismounting happens at the at the end of the transport's movement. So it's a, a, it's still a initiative sync or a way to kind of game the system. Okay. We're working on that. Okay. Okay. But right now, that's a that's a thing. So like, you need to move two units. You can say infantry are staying mounted and move one of your tanks. That's two moves. Okay. So that counts as two moves, though. Uh, so if they they're, with. you're gonna. What are, are they staying mounted? Yeah. Okay, so that would be two moves for him. Yep, uh, make sure you put your, make sure you're putting your TMM dice out after they've moved. So TMM dice, right? Typically, what we tell folks is is that once you put your TMM dice, TMM dice down, it's kind of like chess. Once you put the die down, you've removed your hand from the piece. It the, the turn is is now goes to your other player. So what, what we, good question. Um, what we typically have, and I think it's covered in the, the rules as well, a white die indicates that they have moved. A black die indicates that they have sta stood still or have no mod, right? Um, a, a red die you use when you jump, and when you jump, you add that one TMM to your movement die, okay? And a yellow is sprint. Sprint is, I'm balls to the wall moving, and I can't do anything else. So, looks like you did there. I t another as a as a added thing, I'll done. usually put it up here so that my opponent can see what the TMM is, so that when we're calculating two hits, because what I'm doing for you or, and for you both, right? As you're moving, I'm kind of going through two hits already. Oh yeah. Right. I'm trying to figure out where's where's going to be my best shots. Um, who is the cat who asked the question? Um, AK Craig. So AK Craig asked, hey, why don't you just make a rule where you can't be two inches from the edge all the way around, right? And my point was because of exactly what's going to happen here, right? Not being able to block fast units along the edges of the table gives things like dashers and helicopter, well, helicopters not so much, but Anything that moves greater than 20 inches, full lanes of movement on each side of the table, they can get where they want to go much easier. So that's that's why we, we allow things to be placed on the edge. Is that a dash or G? No. Okay. <laughs> There's a particular variant that I don't want to see. Yeah. That's awesome. I don't like the dash. <laughs> I love the dash, but I don't want the dash. Uh, 
can I jump into the middle of the woods without having to worry about the... Correct. Okay. Correct. Because jumping, you can basically ignore all the train in front of you. Did you get the water thing sorted out? Uh, three grand liter, yes. Oh my god. So last weekend, you and Ben, who's uh, playing on another table here tonight, this afternoon, we met at uh, Game Center here in Minneapolis, and I think we had everything set up. We were like ready to go, and you got a call from the wife and said there's water running down a, an interior wall and yep. had to bail on us. But I'm glad you were able to get home and get that sorted out. Um, the spider, is he a TMM? Two or a TM a wasp because I can't. Oh, okay. So, He's a TM as a note, the spider is a stand in for a wasp, right? Okay. Mostly because I, I I had the wrong, added the wrong mech to my list. Okay. I like the spider better. <laughs> I've got one, just not in this, uh, not in this 200 points. Yeah, probably worth honorable mention that uh, when you do start a game, uh, it's good to announce what proxies you may be using at the time. Uh, the only proxy is this is inner sphere battle armor instead of elementals. Yeah, okay. that's seems, seems like that's what I have to. <laughs> All right, uh, this is my last one. I'm looking forward to when they uh, make the inner sphere suits in plastic. The the the, the new the, Kickstarter. Yep, I believe that the uh, mech uh, mercenary Kickstarter will have inner sphere battle armor. So I'm jumping up. Do I add the elevation? You so when you're jumping. A good, that's a good point. A jumping mech can clear half again as high as what it can go. So like a Phoenix Hawk can jump 12 inches, it can clear a six inch structure. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Compared to tabletop where it's, he's got to jump it's equal. Eight, he can go it's to equal. Mm -hmm. It's equal. We didn't have to talk a lot about movement. You guys handled that just just great. So now we're to combat. Um, combat is initiated by the initiative loser. You shoot. You pick. You you pick. <laughs> exactly. That's, I meant it, I meant it that way too. So start wherever you want and work your way through. Um, what is very different um, from Alpha Strike Two Classic is you don't have to declare all of your fire first. You start, say say you're going to work right to left, you're going to start with the treb, you're going to pick a target, you're going to just pound on it, pound on it, next guy I'm going to pound on it, the next guy he kills it, the next guy that you're going to shoot, he can pick a new target. Okay. You guys look fantastic, by the way. May I say Thank the, you. The map, anyways. <laughs> Alright, so, um... On to the attack phase. Alright, so I'm going to start with the trebuchet. Round one. I'm going to go ahead and try and take out this dasher. Um, now, so, but I'm going to start off with uh, trying to snark. Um, now, does that still deteriorate? That takes off one nope. of my attack dice? Nope, it is a special it's attack. It is a special attack. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fire the snark. Uh, the double shoot is a skill two, plus two for jumping, so that's four. My distance is five, six. So an eight, or no, sorry, a ten or better to hit. Ten or better. Okay. Ten. <laughs> oh. All right, so you're snarked. That always feels good. <laughs> now the rest of them go good. Okay. So and then, um, but then that the snark only adds to missiles. Correct. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire a long range missile at him. Well, uh, hold on now. Who, who are you shooting? With the dasher, or with the trebuchet, um, onto the dasher. Okay, so something to, let, let's talk about this a little bit. Okay, so this card is is the trebuchet card that we're shooting. And one of the, uh, 
one of the questions that we have, or one of the things I want to clear up and clarify with it is, Set it that way. Can you still see it? Maybe. I'll just I'll just put a MUL. What is it? The uh, the trap. Uh, the seven M. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Stand by. Standing by. Oh, skill two, please. Yeah. <coughs> I like my stars. The mic. So I got it right here. Yep. All right, so we're, we're looking at the, the, the trebuchet. So one of the questions that, that kind of came up, or one of the things I'd like to clear up, is you see the damage profile of 332, right? But in the specials, we have an IF-1 and we have an LRM-111. The LRM-111 is factored into your damage profile already. It's, okay. it's, it's just a thing that's there. Now, the reason that it's listed there is if we were using specialty munitions, okay. then it would the specialty munitions take effect on that 111 out of your damage profile that's listed. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. But so, can I split fire? So we're going to get to that. Okay. So, in this instance, when you have NARC, when you have AMS, when you have other things that do enhancements to these specials, what you're going to do is, if it's medium range, which it is, you have three damage with one of them being LRM. Okay. You're going to take two die. This is my, this is my normal damage, and this is my LRM. You're going to roll them together, right? Okay. If that LRM die hits, then it follows a secondary. Uh, it gets you a second because of the narc. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Same thing with indirect fire. That actually might be short. I was going to say, once you, that's. The nice thing with the template, is that go front edge to front edge. Will it slide through there, or no, does it, it touch? It touches. So so short. All right, so it is short. So you would need eight. Nice, even better. Um, so now you're gonna roll. So then I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this white one will be my LRM, and then the other two will be non-LRM. Um, swap a different one out so that the white isn't as close. Okay. Oh, well, can I just do the blue? I'll do these. Oh, that'll work. There you go. LRMs Blue, blue's mine. LRM, those are the other. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Okay. So, uh, so then we're still at, I got two, three, four, uh, eight to eight hit. To hit. <laughs> okay, so six on the LRM. Um, so six doesn't hit? But the 12 hits really nice. So in Alpha Strike, a 12 is part of the standard rules is uh, like a, it's a automatic crit chance. It's the golden BB, if you yes. will. So you get an automatic crit roll on okay. that. Barely. So you got one point of damage on the dasher and now a crit coming. Eight. An eight will be a weapon hit. That, uh, I saw you, I saw somebody running around with a chart. There it is. So this is, the chart that is out of the Alpha Strike box set. And we are looking at the crit hit table here, down in the bottom corner. Now this crit hit table only includes mechs because that's what's included in the box set. So I have uh, the rule book uh, here that we'll be getting for vehicle crits for when that happens. So I'm sorry, I haven't been following who's shooting who. The trebuchet uh, just dealt one point of damage to the dasher. Yep. The dasher. And a crit and a crit uh, well, weapon. Okay. And the weapon. One damage, one crit. Weapon takes effect, takes effect next, next turn. Next turn. Yeah. Remember, all of this that we're doing here, you go back and the forth, it's all simultaneous. Okay. okay. All right. So then my. Uh, I'm still wondering though whether the narc takes effect immediately or whether it's next round. That does play into the rest of uh, the I looked this up with somebody recently. It is immediately. It does do immediately. Yep, we just looked this up. It was actually, Kay. I think I asked you. Yep, it was you. I was talking to you about it. All right. Ah. So, my archer is at medium range for the dasher. Um, skill three. Um, okay. So, IF, if I want to fire indirect fire. IF is you don't have line of sight. Okay, so the, so if I can see that mech from this mech, I can't fire at Correct. It. Okay, got it. Um, can I fire IF and then also fire my primaries? Oh. Okay. Alright, All right, who's shooting whom? Uh, so then the uh, the archer is going to go ahead and fire on the dasher. 
You know what? Like I don't know if anybody's ever asked me that. I'd have to go back and look at that. Because can you do an indirect fire while direct firing as well? I don't see why not. I guess I that, that's I why I'm can. saying because I might have to specials. rethink that because it is as long as you split, split appropriately, right? I think you can splitting fire. You, so you'd, get the, you'd have a plus two, so you'd have a plus one someplace, yeah, five, and five, you would five, need yeah. to reduce uh, your damage output by one. Is the way I would rule that. I, I got to look that up. I got to look that up. You guys. Well, if I so I got an IF two on the archer, so I would want to do indirect fire onto. The, is it the Nova? Who are you going to spot with? Um, uh, the uh, um, the Phoenix if he Hawk shoots, then he has a plus one. And you have an additional plus one on indirect fire because he'll be shooting. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Well, we're just going to try and toast this dasher. So we'll just do all five onto the dasher. Just go that way. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So, um, so three, four, five. Uh, I need a nine or better to hit the dasher. What two? Two? No, three. Three? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, got a nine there. It's a seven. That's no hit. There's a seven. Uh, three. And another seven. So, one more onto the dasher. That's all needed. He's dead. Okay. Is gone. They are usually a a lot harder to eliminate than that. <laughs> Normally. <laughs> That's why I went for him first. <laughs> very, very obnoxious. All right, uh, spider, I'm not gonna fire with the yeah. spider. Yep. So On my quad vehicle, do, does it get loaded? Um, no. Okay. All right, so then the Phoenix Hawk is gonna go and try to narc the, uh, the Nova. Okay. So he's on two, three, four, four, jumping, five, six, seven, eight, um, any, as far as obstructed, minus one, minus, uh, maybe minus two. What do you, mm -hmm. you think, Andrew? Shooting who? Nova? I'm shooting at the Nova. The uh, Puma here? So I, ca I can't see the his Puma. legs. Is it a Puma? I can't see his legs. So oh, definitely partial cover. He's not a Puma. So part of minus one? Plus one. one. Plus one? Plus one. Okay. Start this over again. So it's a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to hit you. With the, with yeah. snark. Uh, four, so I missed. Um, then I'm going to go fire for the, the uh, my primary item. Nine to hit. Two. Um, missed with both of them. Um, and then the last one is going to be my Atlas. Uh, Alright, we're going to go ahead for the long shot here. So, so 29 inches, so that's long. How many inches of woods? Yeah. Have we, did you just grab that rule? What's that? On the six inch rule on? Yep, what we talked about, can't see through six inches of tree. Is there, I mean, is there a modifier for woods? Yes, yeah, woods, are woods involved? And you're not within two inches of an edge, then it becomes a plus one. Woods are all considered level two obstacles, right? Correct, so we go that way. That is not six inches of trees, but you'll need to include the trees as your as your Nine, hit. 10, 11 to hit. Okay, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the puma. That's through no trees. He might not have enough sight on the puma since the puma is very short. The, he will have line of sight. Okay. Two thirds obscured means no line of sight. Correct, and we've had that conversation a couple of times, and I've been told that Pumas and Dashers have focus. You have line of sight over hills. Okay. 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 Uh, I just I, I, I just reached out to the group too to ask the question on the indirect fire thing, so I'll have to give me a little bit on that. That's that's a new one. I have not been asked that, so good on you. That's what these are for, right? Medium range. Is that, uh, what's that? Does that look like medium range to you, or, or is that? So I'm 24 inches. 24? Yeah, yeah that, am I? That's medium range, isn't it? 24? 
Am, am um, I, I think he's asking if the tape your, is over I, your base. Oh, yeah, he's base. testing. Okay, all right. So, so it's medium range? It's, it's gone. Okay. Yeah. Um, you saw that? Okay. Yeah, I take care of that a while ago. Nine, nine, so, let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. With cover? So, That's the boys on the stream are saying that you can combine IF and uh, direct fire attack. Okay. You just need to remove. So I have one, you remove one from your damage profile. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, uh, but, um, so I think I have a plus two to- Two for partial cover? cover? Yeah. Plus one. Plus one for partial cover. Okay, all right, so nine. Eight, uh, all misses. Oh. <laughs> I know that pain. All right. You that's, are done firing? That's everybody. Yep. All right. I feel good though. I feel like, I feel like I've accomplished something. Guess we'll start with the dead man first. Yep. Don't tell no lies. Hmm. He's got one, two, three, four, five. At least he is in range of somebody. Yeah. That would have been sad for him to die with. I think I hit your camera off my shoulder. Uh, that one's not streaming right now. Okay. I'll, I'll check it before. All right. So we got three, four, five, six, seven uh, for my movement. Dasher is shooting. The trebuchet. The trebuchet. Ooh, you don't count your movement. Oh, you don't? Okay. No, no. It's it's skill, mm -hmm. range, terrain. Okay. Their movement modifier and whether you have any effects. So really three and three is six. Because he's short range. And what's his skill? Three. Three, three and three. You got yeah, six. And wait, there you go. Should this be a four? That's, that's just their. I think you mark it because it's dead. Oh, oh, got it. Got it. My apologies. Yeah. I don't have any death markers yet. So. I'll get it. You got six to you got six to roll or uh, six is a hit. Okay. There's gonna be a couple. I see two. Oh, those uh, multicolored die are doing everybody a little work today. Oh, those are really good. oh no, they don't go together. Up my no. nice that's, that's a hit. That's a hit. Like a dummy. That's a hit. There we go. That's a miss. That's a hit. So four hits. Ouch. Four hits against the trebuchet. Trebuchet. All the armor is gone. Woo. You naked. Well done. And then you said the the box. No, okay, never mind. Box was one. <laughs> Seven cameras, and you only use one. Strong move, Gillsby. <laughs> hey, Aaron's giving you shit. <laughs> I'm updating a lot of stuff right now. Tell him to shut his face. <laughs> we only got one mouse, man. Grab the. Grab the end of his tape, that's and it. so you, he's not going to so mark your thing up. That's the edge. There you go. So that's, that's for you. Within 24. There you that's go. That's for you. <sighs> my paint jobs aren't. Might as well measure this one too. Then. Eh, still helps to. Still nice to <laughs> so help help a brother out. Can. That's that one's out. That's out of range. Yeah. And I've only got six cameras, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> See how many cameras you run. And that is number three. So carrier three is firing at the trebuchet. Okay. He's got a skill of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. And that's six sets. Right? Six sets. I don't like being on this end of nights. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wolf. Oh, I'm sorry, who's shooting? The uh, SRM carrier number three at the trebuchet. Oh. You needed nine? Yep. Sorry, that's SRM carrier one or two is all you got. Oh, one. SRM so that's one. one hit. We needed nines? Yeah, yeah. That's two. Three. Isn't that a six? That's a, that's a six right there. Yep, that's a, yep, that's a six. Oh, I thought it was a one. Nope, those are oh. any. Any die that we have, all of his dice, four damage. The emblems will be sixes. Sure. Four I damage. damage. Okay. Four damage. I guess the right. trebuchet. So yep. So he is gone. gone. Made him a crater. Exchange the dasher for trebuchet. Huh? Yeah. That's a pretty decent trade. trade. <laughs> Do we it's leave rubble trade. on the field or not? Nope. Take him off. Nice. Right. Yep. You can pull yours too. Okay. You're done. You're done Supposed shooting. Done shooting. So. All right, we're done with the tech phase. Nope, we. Oh, he's, got a couple, he's got a couple more to go yet. Okay. All right. Oh, by the way, did you hit the puma with any damage? No, he missed. He did hit it. Okay, I was just 
make sure that we covered the amount of battle armor. Yep. So. All right. So that was well within 24. We decided. Yep. Actually, the Puma's got long. So what's the that's probably better number on the line list there. Yeah, that's definitely within. That's uh, medium range as well. Puma shooting. Puma is going to go for the Atlas. And that is three at long. So we need so three. Just to, uh, just to illustrate for everybody, why did you make that choice? Instead of doing the Phoenix Hawk, you're shooting at the Atlas. Uh, because uh, if my mental calculation is correct, it should be one easier to hit the Atlas than it is to hit the Phoenix Hawk. Correct. Yep. And that's three sets. One. Medium is five, six, seven for partial cover, eight. Yep. Everybody agree with eight for that on that list? Miles Barber. I'd like to, I'd like to eject, <laughs> but. Uh, that is zeros. Oh, no hits. That hurts. I'll take that. Yeah. All right. But now we got the big dog. Now we got the big dog. Daishi. He is also going to fire on the Atlas, and that should be that is long right. range. Long range, so we got. No, just a just a that ish medium range to the. Uh, sorry, sorry, my hanging down thing got him. So seven, my page up. Eight, eight nine. <laughs> now, if it'd been the beautiful Phoenix on there. I'm so, yeah. I mean, I'd have deserved a beating. So it's at four. Yeah. So I need nine. You said. And you're going for the Atlas? Yep. Okay. From long range? What's his skill? Three. Okay. Three. Seven. Eight, nine. Is there? Oh, oh ten. Okay. Hold on. Let's just double check it. Because we can, and it's easy. Five. I parked on everything. Yep. Four yep. Goals, uh, tactical trees run away. <laughs> Tens are better, huh? Uh, I think that's none. That's not one. That's not one. That's not one. That's not one. Yes, it's all around. Whew. Lots of whiffing. Yeah, <laughs> 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 it's around the incoming. And the battle armor is going to shine their laser pointers at you. There you go. All right. So, um, something because of some issues that I've had with Z, right? Instead of removing the movement dice, what I've started to see or asking people to do is set the die in the back of the hex. That way, when you measure and you go, I'm going to move here, and then you take a look and go, oh, shit, I don't like that move. You have a reference point of where to go back to. Okay? It's a <clears throat> right or wrong. Um, uh, Z's been called out a couple of times, so it's something that I've been trying to get her to, to do. And you can or cannot. It, it's entirely up to you, but I think it's a helpful thing for uh, your opponent because you're going to move at some point and go, I don't like that. I need to come back. It's better to do it as well as you can, right? Initiative. We're done with attack phase. So we are done with attack phase. We are to initiative phase. All right. Six, eight. All right. Phew. Okay. How's so again, we hit. So at the start of the of round, we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. So you're going to still move yep. two to start with. Try not to scratch Sean's uh, page. Nope, just one at a time. Oh, no, you do, you two. do two. You're right. Okay. Sorry. Campaign cat girls for halftime show? You guys are weird. <laughs> Excuse me, boss. Uh oh. We locked out. I don't know how this works. Push out of doors. Okay. I don't know how doors work. <laughs> so I'm just gonna tell you guys how we party in Minnesota when we get together. Ken brought us a, a whole smorgasbord of cooked meats from the local uh Barbecue joint. So this is uh, this is awesome. Uh, none of which I believe uh, Mr. Kroll has actually eaten yet. <laughs> okay, so I move one. Okay. 
Did you talk your way through it? Did you help him? I've, uh -huh. There's a lot of she's bad habits that we've built up. <laughs> that like, no, I, I punched I, him in the jaw and walked away. That's usually how she plays. So. <laughs> There's a lot of bad habits we've built up, but I've told him from the beginning that once we get to a better, another table, you need to listen to the people that are telling you what to do. <laughs> hey, Andrew, I don't remember. Did you even talk about the rules of stand-up fight scenario? On the stream, is it was uh, the first time. Maybe, maybe I did the first time. You probably maybe, did the first maybe time. Maybe I did the second time. <laughs> so one of the so we're called so uh, stand up fight. False start is, it is um, no. for every letting him talk. Every fifty points you destroy is an objective point. Every scenario that we have in the core rules that are found on WallStreetGames.com are four objectives. So <laughs> yep, I haven't. I've just moved these to begin. I haven't. I was going to move him next. Slides showing. I guess, you guys can't right now. So, I guess my move is the infantry are staying mounted for now. Oh. Okay. That's a go over. Um, Who brought the sheep cupcakes, man? I did. Those are awesome. Left over for my daughter's birthday. <laughs> How long ago was her birthday? Wednesday. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a year ago. question. <laughs> Which birthday? Oh, that's another important question. 18. Ooh. Okay. But from which birthday? Yeah, from which one? What was the difference you get? Perfect. So, if you're in base base contact, you have to disable the Did you move the atlas? I moved the atlas. Okay. One inch that way. And what's the minimum on a movement you have to do to qualify for a white dice? Just keep greater than an inch. Greater than an inch. A good, a good point. Because he said he moved his atlas one, one inch. So. If you have a unit, this, this, the dasher's dead, obviously. If I move greater than an inch, I get my TMM. If I stay and do something like this, if I stay or do something like that, that is still considered standstill movement. Okay. Set a time. Seven on So you move your atlas. One inch. One inch? Yes. So that's no movement modifier? No. So, you know, so I get my TML. I get the one TML. He says it's got to be greater than an inch? I moved it an inch or greater. <laughs> okay. Is it greater than an inch or an inch or greater? Here. You need to move it greater than an inch. An inch, inch okay. or greater. Okay. 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 That works. I moved it another eighth of an inch. No, you're fine. You're fine. I was just... Because I know... Because I'm going to go to a tournament. So sure. once I go to the tournament, I want to know... Deliberate. And absolutely, what, exactly what you're doing, having a conversation with your opponent, is perfect, right? Can I get a cupcake? Yeah, yeah. have whatever you want. All food that was brought for us to get fat on. Yeah, yeah. Right. Mission accomplished. That's the man right there for the death of the attack. And then facing changes to those count as movement? Nope. No. Nope. Okay. So I could. Basically, laterally move six inches if I want. So, We're doing duos so the question's good. coming from his classic background. But now I have to play you do not pay facings. Treat every movement as if you were jumping. Okay. So how does that work? Okay. Okay. If anything, I'll make it go to time. Well, except for if I wanted to go like this, right? Well, so uh, uh, movement. what I'm saying is for your for your facing, direction, facing. all your all your six inches is is from back of the base. To where the end of your back of your base is, mm -hmm. pick any facing you want, two inches up, two inches down. Okay. Typically, what I'll do is, if I'm going to go up a hill, and I know, for instance, the puma, the puma can move 12 inches, mm -hmm. and I know I'm going up, I'll actually measure that and put 10 on the di on the dial okay. to take it to take that into account. Right. Are dead. Yeah, the trebuchet was worth 43 points, so someone's getting mighty close to uh, 
a point, an objective point, versus the dasher, which is 30 points. A little over halfway there, to a single objective point. That was my shoe, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Sean said the reason that's funny is Sean made sure that if anyone was going to break wind that you had to do it uh, uh, politely and quietly. So Ken just scraped his shoes together and it kind of sounded like, well, that was awesome. <laughs> the mic did pick that up. So thank you for clarifying. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was very important. Another thing you could do mm -hmm. on that template, mm -hmm. this edge is one inch. Okay. So if you want to put it on a point mm -hmm. and make sure that point is at the inch level, you move that full inch. Okay. It's another option for instead of having a tape and fight that, you just put that Tough behind it. Takes you. courtesy of Chris Hesby, or rather his daughter's birthday, which was not that long ago. Which was not that long ago. <laughs> so I think. Now that would actually be, be there you go, there. there you go. So then, two inches. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Nice. And that's all my movement. Okay. Um, so I, got, oh, I got my archer left. She does that to grown men, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying she's competitive. She, uh, she knows what she's doing with her stuff. Yeah. Movement time? Yeah. Perfect. All right. So all movement is done. We're to combat. Mm -hmm. okay. And loser fires first, right? Loser fire first. That would be me. Good. I can go get a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> get, well, the getting's good. All right. So... I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna show off my mirror trick. Mm -hmm. So, I'm old. My knees don't work. So I went on Amazon, spent two dollars and got a mirror. The reason I have this is, I can put this behind the, the spider, and I can actually see what kind of line of sight the spider has on those tanks. And if I look. The spider cannot see the front hex side of this tank. It's very close. Mm -hmm. So these two do not have line of sight, and they do, he does not have line of sight to the tanks. Okay. Thank you, sir. Excellent demonstration. And then they also, neither one of them would have line of sight to the archer because My guess is no. And we'll stick that right back there. If you want, go ahead, you try it, just so that you can see how that works. No. Alright. Okay, so first round of fire, we got here Mr. Puma, two, three, three, guessing that's medium range to the archer. Three, your movement is one. Oh, yeah. My TMI. Okay, so four plus two for the hill and wind, plus one for. I keep thinking of classic. Yep. All right, so three, four, five, six, Who's seven, for medium range. Who's shooting him? Uh, the Puma is shooting at the archer. Seven. Hits. That's one, two, three hits. Nice, three hits on the archer. Oh, what I use, what I typically do is, I it doesn't follow the sator that's in the book, but I've I've gotten myself used to. I think of I start in the head, that's my skill. I work through the mech. Do I have fire control? Do I have heat? Do I have anything that's going to affect my outgoing fire? Right. So I'm at three. I get all the way to my feet. Now I'm doing range. I'm at five. 
I hit the hill six, I hit his TMM seven. Okay. And get into that habit of doing that the same way that each makes time sense. makes it makes it very straightforward. All right. So that was the Puma. The only other one that has line of sight to anything is the Dire Wolf. And I believe we're probably using that to six inches now, or six inches now. Yeah, maybe not. Who knows? But he is going to fire at the um, Phoenix Hawk. Oh no. And that's. Hands are a little greasy. From mm -hmm. the cooked meats. No trees. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> uh, or it could be not much. So we got one, two, two, and that's it. Two to the Phoenix Hawk. Worked out about as half as well as I hoped. Ooh. All right, so that, that now it's to me, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, um, we'll start with the Phoenix Hawk. Um, we're gonna fire Snark onto Direwolf. Okay. Uh, they get a Snark two. button or something. I love my Snarks. Uh, two, three, four for jumping. Five, six, six medium range. Yep. And then a seven for obstruction. Yep. Did you get his TMM? Eight. I got eight. eight. I had eight. Two, I think he forgot his TMM. Two, yeah. four, Five, six, six, seven, eight. I didn't forget the TMM. Five, six, seven. Crap. Can I reroll? Oh, so close. Just can I reroll? <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought when you miscalculated, that means you got to reroll. No. Yeah, right. no. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh -huh. Not a roll. All right. Hold on. I'm firing my primary. So I need an eight to hit. In that case, look, I need a two, right? No, I need a three. <laughs> oh, I need a four. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, still firing at the... Oh, yeah. So, uh, one hit. One hit. Yeah. It's a start. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's in trouble now. <laughs> okay, so... This is about to scratch. Are we then factoring in uh, IFF, or IF... Um, as far as I can do a separate attack for IF, and then I just add a plus no. one, I'll wait until he gets back for getting that's that's the man behind the curtain asking us, Andrew. I think that's what they said. Like, no, we're, doing right. we're, we're doing separate shots in direct fire, Andrew? Yes. So far. Okay. Hey, guys. So do 300 points. Okay. So. We don't want to get your spot. No, we'll just do this. Was this so medium for you? Did you? Yep. Okay. So we're going to do? Uh, do the archer onto the puma. Okay. Uh, we're going to do the, just the archer's going to do full, full blast. Full blast. And that's four, five, three, five dice. Seven? Yeah. Got an epic game going on in the other room. Okay. So, nice. so dial that one back a little bit. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Yep. That's what I got. Okay. These dice suck. <laughs> That's one hit there. That's one miss. Fuck, ah, Jesus. Miss. One hit. Awesome. One point. To the Puma? Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. What are we forgetting? Us the. I don't know. <laughs> we forgot it. What's special about the Puma? Oh, yeah. Oh, the battle armor. So you got to pick up the one die. So you okay. had one hit? Yes. Pick up one die. One roll one D6. On a five or a six, it hits the battle armor instead of the mech. Okay. Nope. So Just it still hits the mech. Okay. The mech. <laughs> All right. Um, so that was Archer there. Um, oh. I just... The Ilian La uh, Isilian Lancer shirt that uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. was available on the web store here a little while ago. And I believe the web store finally had the Iridani Light Horse launched the other day. So And Starly. And Starly. Starly. Boo on Starly, I care less. Iridani <laughs> bring it all the time. I ordered my shirt already. Eleven. My turn. Who's shooting? 
Uh, the Atlas is shooting, and I'm trying to figure out what to shoot at. I think the only thing he can shoot at is supposedly, because I yeah. think that's... Oh, right. well, I don't think that's six inches through there. So I'm just going to go with the 11 to the... Um, Puma? Yeah. It's from the Atlas. Oh, definitely not. It, it's going to be a, it would be a 10. You going there? It'd, yep. be a, it'd be a 10, 11. It's a 11. 11 either way. So, so it's the one I've actually got some damage on. They're both damaged. Nothing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing. Uh, uh oh, that's a damaged dice. <laughs> and then uh, the wasp has a zero asterisk to hit you. So we're going to go ahead and. And the wasp has a minimal damage. Seven. Did you describe minimal damage? So it's a four up, right? I need a twelve to hit. I need a. I. I, I need a thirteen. So let's talk so it out since we are demonstrating learning alpha strike. So minimal damage. Take it away, Andrew. So minimal damage is anything that has a zero star next to it. You calculate your two hit exactly the same way. On a hit. You roll again a 1d6, and on a 4 up, you do a point of damage. Okay. Um, I'm going to change my target. Though. Like an LR5. I don't have line of sight. They don't have line of sight. You no. cannot see the front of the hex. Okay. All right. Well then, 13 to hit that one. Right. 13 did it? Yeah. yeah. I missed. Uh, yeah. No, it was close. Right, but you can't, hit a 12. can't roll a 13. You can roll a 12, right? Nope. Oh, oh, never mind. But 13 to hit, you can't even roll. I just thought that 12 hits no, on there. Okay, well, never mind. going to do it anyway. I'm just shooting right. up in the air. <laughs> All right, uh, that's my combat. All right, so we want to have initiative? Yes. All right. Six. Three. All right. You may go, sir. All right. Rob, remove your movement. one inch, right? Yep. So, so if you're moving one inch, you're actually going to put that point to that point. That's one inch of movement. Oh, okay. There you go then. Yeah, I almost did the same thing. I was like, that on the other side. Nope, that's more than that. Okay. Well, then I definitely moved more than an inch last well, time. Well, there you go. So. I wasn't questioning you. I was just trying to question the rule of sure. what was... Sure. All right. Then you're up. Uh, move two. One, two, three, four. Still five. Two, three, four, five. Uh, so Omni and Battle on that. The Omni still needs to pay the two inches to drop off the Battle Armor? No. Okay. It's only unloading. Only unloading. Okay. So an infantry costs two inches to load, no cost to unload. Okay. So if they were sitting next to him and he wanted to pick them up and carry them, then he's got the 10 inch. The infantry the pay the two inches. Oh, the infantry pay the two inches. Oh, okay. Sorry, I missed this question. Randall Burt asked, are you using a regular paint program to mark the digital cards or is it a specific app software? I'm using a... Um, what was it called? Hold on. MS Paint? Uh, Paint 3D. Sorry, that was a question from a while ago. Oh. A, lot, a lot of wheels I got to keep spinning here, so I don't always get to the chat. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you're kind of busy. Huh? That's why it helps to have other commentators on the uh, the other streams when we're doing it remotely. All right. Who's got nice Yeah. The infantry are deploying. Here with live attacks. Got 18 people watching. Oh, that's so more than what we usually have. So they need to be deployed and be in base contact. Yep, so they are in base contact. And you can deploy into the trees if you want. Okay, and then, but they cannot move immediately after deploying. Correct. Okay. And then they get their own separate m modifier. Uh, of a six. Zero. Yep, you show a six. Okay. Well, because they're basically stationary, right? Infantry do not get a stationary bonus. Okay. 
infantry do not pay the extra inch of movement to go through trees either. Oh, okay. So they don't take a penalty for jumping. And they don't take a penalty for jumping. They get the bonus for jumping. They don't take the plus two to hit. Two is for him and the six is for him. Just got it. All right. Plus one to hit. Plus two for jumping. You take a penalty of plus two. You get a plus one bonus. Hmm. We're saying the same thing. I just have, I just have a cupcake in my mouth. <laughs> For some reason, it sounds sweeter when that's Mr. Cross fine, says it. fine quality audio oh, recording we got right there. <laughs> my bad. I'm done now. Six for range, seven, eight, nine, ten for recovery. Oh boy, right? You started a timer? Oh no. I wasn't ever gonna make this a time thing. Okay. This next game, he's gonna limit us to thirty seconds per round. Ah, right. Thank you, guys. Andrew. Yeah. Wait, Ron, what? Yeah. I don't know. Speaking of which, Ben, uh, when we leave, did you want to swing by my place so you can get your stuff? Oh, it's up to you. It's not up to me. It's your stuff. <laughs> so I'm jumping right into there. Okay. I'm just going to put my mech right between those two. Okay. Now, just as a heads up, you do know you're making a move against units that have not moved. I understand. Okay. <coughs> that's the that's the only thing about having the movement die behind. It's a little bit confusing of whether have they moved or have they or they haven't. Eventually, you'll get used to if you see it on the backside, they haven't moved because have it is you always put it on the front. Mm -hmm. Or move. you put the die next to your opponent. Bold move. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Yeah. 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 This guy's out of batteries. Hold, no, keep going. This is not a screaming right now. Yep. <laughs> so that is not six inches of weight. He's got a TMM of seven. Or uh, he's got a skill of seven. He's not shooting. So I'm just kidding, give you that heads up. <laughs> TMM of seven? Yeah, no, he's got a TMM of three. He's got a skill like, of seven. I was like, seven? I, 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 he's got zeros across the board. That's zero uh, why don't I have a lot of a, Why don't I have a yeah, exactly that does that? He's my spotter. So. How many points are seeing? I'm just bringing 30 Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. Oh, yeah, the TM7? So, can you get one? Yeah, I looked at doing the same thing with my cannon, and it doesn't charge off the cable, does it? It doesn't. Yeah. Well, it, yeah, it does. They don't have any, like, uh, like I've seen some Chinese things. I bought some of them. You can put a battery in, and it runs and it's out. Got a little cable that comes yeah. out. They don't work. None of them work. No, it doesn't. No nope. shit. I think I bought one. No, it won't work. Okay. So I've got three batteries for this cannon. <laughs> So I think a lot of um, this scenario, some good tactical advice, is targeting priority. Okay. Yes. As is true about many of the scenarios, but stand up but maybe more so than anything. Because you got to weigh the advantages of taking away their big guns, which might not be their big points, versus taking away their big points. Right. Um, those SRM carriers are a fine mix because they are so low points, so they're not going to score you a lot of nice, uh, objectives for the for the scenario, but they're some of your biggest cannons, so it gives some interesting tactical uh, choices for your opponent yeah. on what they want to do with those first. SRM carriers. Okay, so are these two. Um, do you also want to address uh, field of fire specifically SRM carriers which do not have turret? Two armor. So it's that's there. on the card. Yeah. Code. He's got a one armor five structure. Yeah, they don't have turret. Since we're learning alpha strike, we should also probably talk about. Um, Field of fire of mechs versus vehicles versus infantry in some of this uh, blank blank time that we okay so have going infantry I'm just on the actual I'm on page 41 firing arts 
So a firing arc is typically is everything from the back of the hex forward. So that that's your forward firing arc, and anything on that side of the line is your rear firing arc. Mm -hmm. To get the extra die for a rear shot, though, is the 60 degree arc of the hex. Mm -hmm. Your half of your hex needs to be within that 60 degree arc. Like I said, infantry have 360, and vehicles are the same, right? Back forward, or is it a 60 degree arc? They have a 90 degree, 90 degree arc. Out there, front arc. <coughs> okay. So is that off of. Those SRM trades do have a very limited field of fire because they do not have trip. Um, it would be off of that hex line. It would be off of this. It would be from that hex to ha that hex and that hex to that hex. Okay. So that 90 degree arc this way. So it's off the back too. Yeah, it, basically you're going from, you're going that direction mm -hmm. and that direction. That okay. is a 90 degree. Stand by. Be careful for word of Blake turret uh, SRM carriers because they are turret mounted. Right. I found that out recently. Yay, word of Blake. <laughs> oh yeah. Turns out uh, we never actually talked about what you guys brought to the game. Maybe we should do that while you guys are doing your movement phase. So I'm just gonna talk. You, you guys do your thing. Two inches um, to go an inch in the woods. Correct. Okay. And you have to be at least two inches in to get a so, uh, intervening? Mike, uh, correct. Uh, so, like, so if you list. were to end up, so he has six inches of move, mm -hmm. and we'll call and, that an uh, inch off, right? So, so you can, full I would go air the edge there. The archer, you the can Alice, go two and a half inches in. Battle master, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You don't want to go two and a half because then you have that extra half inch there. Points. So you can go, you can, so again, what I would do is, because you have the movement, right, mm -hmm. I would go yeah, here what he actually brought to the and then spoilers. I mean, leave it about already know this. there. Mm -hmm. if, that, if that's what you, mm -hmm. if that's what you want to do, that's, right there. that's how I would exactly. measure that all okay. I'm busy. <laughs> Yeah. And then Ken I can park uh, him. mercenary civil war yeah. list. It's just about the same. 344 points total. And of course you all know that this is what he's actually playing this game. Okay, so that is no, I normally start that is what this, your yeah, sorry it came late in the game but 90 degree arc would look like as far as the vehicle goes okay all right back to the main base so um, you moved i only need to move one right i have one left to move okay. did you you I want initiative one. right yep yeah to be honest with you when you look at that i don't know how you actually get unless it's you know, you go from middle out there to, uh oh. Connor Fletcher oh, says the do not have a different firing arc from mechs. Uh, see, I don't think so. I think it's quad mechs do. It doesn't say that vehicles do. That's what I'm. I'm trying to co uh, collaborate that uh, that point because okay. I, I, be I have always I have always that, that, that it's front. Okay. That's where it helps to have all sorts of people. Fact checking and making sure we don't here. mess stuff up. Okay. Yeah, I might be thinking of quad mechs because they have a very restricted field of fire. Do you know what? Can I change that? I want to walk over there and not jump. So it does say here, um, further discussable for all other Alpha Strike units, the standard firing arcs okay. apply. Then it goes into quads. Thank you, Connor. Infantry. You correcting us. Multi firing that helps. and three legged and then turrets. We want to make sure we uh, we describe things correctly on a learn alpha strike. See, this might be the, the primary thing to learn is that even veteran players can get rules wrong sometimes. Now, remember, if you get within that 60 degree arc in the back, right, he can't shoot you. I don't think he has rear. Not that one. Not that one. That one barely has weapons. <laughs> And depending upon how far back you move, you may be looking at, you know, does this line of sight line up? If you want to have that as a, sec as a second. 
So what I'd be thinking on this move is, right, How can I get nine chances out of ten, closing? that tank is going to kill him, yeah. right? So what can I do with that tank to be effective on something else? Right. <clears throat> So, indirect fire. A unit that has indirect fire special ability, it may still attack targets within its range without direct LOS. To use indirect fire, there must be a friendly unit uh, to the attacker that has valid LOS and within 42 inches. Okay? Mm -hmm. Indirect fire attacks use the range and movement modifier of the attacking unit, the movement modifiers of the target, and terrain and movement modifiers based on the spotter's LOS. Okay, so, so I have, that's 24 inches, so that's medium. Yep. Uh, are we within six inches? Yes. It does not matter. Well, okay, oh, you're right, I wouldn't be range, but I've got full on line of sight. Yep, so, but, so now it goes into, um, the attack, so movement group. modifier of the attacking unit, which you move, so you don't get the negative one. The movement modifiers of the target, which is one. one. Uh, use the range and movement. So he is a skill what? Skill four. Skill four, six, seven. Okay, that covers to that point. The terrain and movement modifiers based on the spotter's LOS. Eight, nine. Eight, nine. For his movement. Your, your spotter jump. Oh, you have okay. to count that in. Okay. And then I think, isn't it a plus one for end fire? Yes. Yep, so ten. Uh, but if I'm using it as my primary, because I don't, I'm not taking. It's still shot. an indirect fire. It's a plus one. Okay. If right. it was your secondary shot, you'd have another plus one. Okay. And he is not shooting. Correct. Okay. Because I would have another. Because you would add, a, you would add another one to this indirect fire, and you would have a plus one on your direct fire as well. I thought it was only one. Of, okay. I thought it was only can the person he spot that was shooting. For, can he spot for multiple targets? Okay. For multiple. You like, can like, indirect fire. You can spot for one guy. Oh. You can only look at one guy. So if it was. I think what he's asking is, can he? So can he's he's looking at this guy, saying this is his coordinates. Can I think he's asking, can they both? In Ooh, fire they both can use yeah. the same spotter. A spotter can only spot a unit. They can't do multiples, but both it. guys can use the same guy. Got, yes. Got it. Ten. So miss. Okay, he doesn't have another shot. We're gonna move down to my archer. Um, so the archer is gonna go ahead and use his IF two. Probably the same. Um, medium range, uh, except he's a three, same target. so it's going to be a nine. Same target as that, yep. that LRM point, platform. Okay, so then I'm also going to be, this is the primary, I'm going to be firing a secondary shot onto that one, okay. which is medium still. So, so this is so the, does, the way I the Does way indirect I fire it. count as? Yeah, that's hey guys. Yeah. Indirect fire, does that count? Can that count as your primary target, or is it always your direct line of sight target that's your primary target? I would say your direct line of sight. Uh, it's I not in the rules. Whichever it's not in the rules, so you can declare whatever you okay. want. Okay, so, yeah. so, so direct I, fire is, or your indirect fire is primary for him, and then secondary and then is. Wanna, and then I'm going to fire onto that one with the remaining dice from, my, from okay. my five. This one's primary, that'll be secondary, so Kay. that'll be a plus one. Yep. Okay, so it is a nine for this one. Seven, eight, nine, one. one yep. All right. Next, SRM carrier number two. Okay. So, what's special about that unit? The, the it's a vehicle. Correct. So every time a vehicle gets hit, okay, you make a motive check. Okay. 
Which so is it's a 2d6 roll. Okay. And you're looking for a nine or higher. Okay. Track vehicles don't get a modifier. Uh, wheeled vehicles get a plus one. Hover get, I think, plus two. I got an eight. Got an eight. So that is not enough. Okay. Uh, so then, what's in the story flash? We're going to three. DFAs are almost never worth it. Four, five, or three, four, five, six, seven, eight for how obstructed, nine for it being my secondary attack. Seems high. So you you so got a base three, of three? Three. Three. Four, five. Four, five. Three, six, five, six, six seven, 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 eight. Eight, eight for a second. Okay. Eight. Yeah, he was I like nine. That. I like that better. I'll go with, I'll go with eight. What, what a gentleman. What a gentleman. I mean, it was 11. 11. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got one nine. So that's a, that's one hit. Here, one that. hit on I'll the dire wolf from me. the archer. Okay. Um, Duct tape and string. So then the Phoenix Hawk onto the Archer. I haven't fired the Phoenix Hawk yet. Are you going here? Yeah. You mean? No, no, he's I, an Archer. He's firing it. Yeah, <laughs> fired it off. yeah, sorry. I'm to the. I was going to say, I don't see an Archer. Uh, it's Hawk it's right there. It's <laughs> right there. <laughs> it's standing right next to So him. medium range. Who are you shooting? Uh, uh, onto the. Phoenix Hawk to the Dire Wolf. There you go. Phoenix Hawk uh, to the Dire Wolf. Okay. I haven't fired with him yet. I fired with everybody else. There we go. So a thing that I typically do is, is I'll take guy? I'll take all the cards and I'll and I'll put them along here. Did I do that? And when they shoot, you haven't s narked this turn. You tap. Okay. There you go. Because that was my first thing. So you I'll haven't snarked this turn. All right. I normally keep them right in front of me, yep. so I can just go down the line. Yep. Uh, okay. So. But we're trying to keep everything moved for the cameras. Oh no no no! That's <laughs> uh, that's actually <laughs> the, 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 that line. Four. Works perfect for having your cards there. Okay, four snark. I'm looking at a six. So it's two for a skill, three, yeah, four two. for distance, five, and then for obstruction. Yep, yep. Six. six. Okay. Nice. I got a six. Oh. All right, and then I'm going to just fire um, then my primary weapon. So two more at you. Sorry, that was one damage or that was a snark? No, nope, that was a snark. Okay, snark. my bad. Now, NARCs affect LRMs, right? LRM and indirect fire, and okay. SRMs. So wouldn't it have been smarter to yes. do that no. to him first? No, the reason he, is, though, he did his indirect fire here. <coughs> right. Right, and then did his direct fire that way. Uh, right. Had, I was trying to burn this thing up. Oh, okay. Because yeah. he, he doesn't have, this is my spotter for indirect okay. fire, and he doesn't have a line of sight on him because you're behind his, his fire okay. arc. All right. That's why I was it the uh, dire wolf already successfully snarked. No, no, I snarked the the dasher. At the I snarked the dire wolf last time. No, okay. I've I've unsuccessfully snarked everything so far. Oh, except for the dasher. Oh, okay. And then I didn't okay. fire any missiles at I the dasher. I I thought you hit the puma, but never mind. No, no, it was the dasher. Uh, I tried turn to one, just vaporize, just, just, just like uh, that. We we were off. I was off by one point. So um, two, six, four, six, two, mm -hmm. four, five, six. One hit, two hits. Yeah. Two damage. So, yes. Two damage to the dire. Wolf. Yes, because they're. It, I'm not shooting missiles. So. Okay. Okay. And that's you. How much that's damage to the dire? Wolf? Two. Two. Okay. So, so he should have a grand total of four marked on him now. Okay. Yeah, that's all I got. Me. All right. So now it's you. All right. So we will do the puma. That's definitely six inches, so... What's that? Well, I don't think so. Don't think Again, so? you can take that and lay that, in, lay that in your line of sight. Okay. Uh, maybe. I don't think so. Uh, just by a hair, I guess. Okay. Oh, right, that bubbles out. Never mind. I keep thinking that it was the infantry. and no. got to go back yet a little bit. Okay, so um, two, three, two. Here. Uh, the puma is going to try for the phoenix hawk. So three, four, five, six for range, and then, and then seven, eight. Seven, eight for his TMF. And you can see a full leg so he doesn't have partial. 
So eights are better. I got three sets. All right. Uh, one. One to the Phoenix Hawk. Storm carrier number one versus wasp. Correct. Wasp. Okay. Uh, so we got skill of three. Range is zero. Plus three for jumping. So six. Six or better. Correct. And the re and you don't count the woods in this re in this set in this one because we specifically made that move. He's within two inches of the edge of the trees. So it's occupied versus intervening, and trees don't get counted. So sixes. And I got sixes. Hopefully. That sounds painful. Hopefully. That's, that's the rattle. That's a death rattle right there. <laughs> yeah. With my luck. Death rattle. I don't know. With my luck. All right. So we got at least one. One. Hit. At least one. <laughs> Two. Three. That's a miss. Four, five, five He's hits. Dead. Five hits. He's dead. He's dead. Hey, he only needed dead. He only needed four. Oh. Hey, Sean. Yo. Only the only thing that I'm seeing right now, the camera for the dice box needs to be a little higher. For rolling purposes. Oh, sure. Yeah. <clears throat> that my. Yeah. No, 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 no. But it's that not just you. It's just every roll that's going in there, you're ducking oh, under it. Yeah. He can't hit anybody. Correct. Him. I'm gonna go for the uh, the archer. That's the shot I would take too. So we got three, four, five. Sorry, the, uh, the dice archer. versus the archer. Dice versus archer. Thank you. So skill of three, range is four, five, obstruction is six, plus his movement is seven. There you go. So perfect, thank you. That was beautiful. My goal was just to get it so he has to move everything before I move one. Good, <laughs> <laughs> uh, too many sets to move one, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's medium. You know what? I've been shooting. I've been shorting myself every turn. <laughs> no! <laughs> How's that feel? Feels great. <laughs> Wonderful. I love it. Oh, yeah, we're throwing enough dice. Correct. Oh. Yeah, by a lot. <laughs> by like three. <laughs> What's that thing? Throw it medium. Uh, seven. Okay. So the three. He's been going four, lenient five, on you. Six, seven. I, I feel like you went to the same school as my son. <laughs> <laughs> Throw as many dice as you can. Yeah. It didn't make sense. That's why I can fuck up the archer there. What did we say that the hit was? Three, five, four, five six, six, seven. seven. Seven sets to get seven. We'll see. Another, another death rattle. Yeah. Yep. Well, I don't see a whole lot there. It's time there's, for a natural crit. There's one. A lot of ones. There's two. There's. That's a miss. That's a miss. Miss, miss, miss. So, two hits. Two? two? Uh, Two out of seven. That was not a death rattle. No. That was a tickle rattle. I told you. <laughs> With my rolls. Uh, that's Ooh. everybody on my... Uh, your... The battle armor only have uh, range... Of range short. of six. Short so, range? Yeah. Okay. I believe so, yeah. Alright. Yeah, just six. So, that concludes the round. Let's calculate uh, MOV. See if we got a score upgrade uh, update. So the trebuchet was 43, and the wasp goes to 12, so that puts us at 55 points. For who? For Ken. Okay. And he's got 30 points destroyed over here. So Ken has one point. Ken has one point at this point. 50 points is a... Uh, uh, 50 points is a threshold for getting an objective okay. in, this, in this scenario. Okay. 
So it's every each, 50? Each 50 is one objective one point. point. Okay. So it's one zero. Oh, yeah. Correct? It's initiative. Yep. Yeah. Seven, eight. two, eight. Six, seven. Holding back just to No, if you're going to do that when you're moving behind, make sure that you stick it on the hex so that you have your marker for where you started. There you go. Uh, so I won that initiative? You yep. won that initiative? So I go first. All right. And again, I think you're still moving too. Yep. Uh, twice. Yep. No, just once. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. No, I think you're right. Yeah, it's only twice, two times. Wait, you said a part about me being right again? Yep. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you sound like a married man. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot what the argument was. All I heard was you say I'm right. Can you repeat that? <laughs> Did I hit we it? Got a, we got a camera that's not focusing. Hold on. Sorry, go, get, get going. I'm working on it. I'll work on it. <laughs> it's that one. <laughs> That's the one. Now again, infantry don't pay Movement the penalty through. for trees, so you can move your full six inches. Just enough. Okay. To be within that sweet spot. Alright. And they're battle armor, so they get a plus one automatically to their TMM? Uh, so again, TMM is two hit movement modifier. Okay. I typically don't add the add extras the because okay. that that's on so my that opponent later. to include that in their two hit numbers. Okay. So it's just a one. And it's and it's something that you can have a discussion at the table saying, I'm going to include the battle armor or I'm going to include the VTOL extra. It's a conversation that you have at the table. Typically, I add it myself, so I'd be getting hosed by adding it twice. Mm. <clears throat> you, you know he can move faster than an inch, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just want to make sure. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> just testing her out. <laughs> we'll get in there. He'll he'll start cruising soon. He's still moving up the gears. Oh, you should have moved to that that turn. I did. Oh. Uh, oh no, I didn't. No, didn't. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I, moved I will move him too. I was moving. I was like, I thought I did. No, I. Why am I keep doing six? You can move one six. And it's uh, two points for every inch moved inwards? Uh, for every inch moved, it's an extra. Okay. Yes. So, so it would be six. That's why I was doing yep. it. Jose Suarez says, how many games are happening at this address? I think there's been mm -hmm. six so far. Again, this turn. You guys have played one. How many games have happened in there so far? Uh, two or three. Two or three? Okay, so we're already four, four plus games in at this point in time. And Besides the main streaming one. We're in round four. <laughs> one armor. Oh, we're talking about a lot of stuff. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to time it. I didn't want to have it play in time. That's fair. <clears throat> All right. Oh, big dog came out to play. That's a bull move, Cotton. That's a bull move, Cotton. It's even bolder than bringing that wasp out in the middle of everywhere. We both ate, so. Yep. What do those have for two armor, three structure? Yeah. Jesus. 
Yeah, it's two armor, three structured for a 6-6, six, six, and I think it costs 27 points. Oh, 26. 26 points? Yeah. <laughs> They're a bargain. <laughs> Easy to take down, but you got to you gotta make sure to do so. Your turn, sir. They can cause some hurt. I've won uh, a couple tournaments with those bad boys. Yeah. So yeah. Archer has an 8. So to get to the edge, it would cost you four inches yep. to get out. So you could basically go two inches from the edge of the trees. Which is bad. Yep. The front of the hex is back that the two yeah. back of the hex. So, yeah, that's okay. Talk to him. Yep. Now, a thing that you can do, a thing we have not talked about yet, you can at any point in time ask, Can I see that card? Okay. So, one thing that I would, you would want to take a look at the card and realize or think about the SRM tanks don't have turrets. Okay, so is there a forward arc, basically the rear arc? It's of the back of the line forward. Yeah, we just grabbed it right first. But we were corrected. Oh, so like so basically, uh -huh. okay. All right. Just you like a mix. So yep. anything in front of that would be You can get behind him and he can't shoot you. Okay. Because he doesn't have a turret. He can't shoot you. Right. He can't. Right, but everybody else would be able to. Everybody else could, except right. for the Everybody second. at this point is going to have to get yeah. really far behind you. <laughs> I'm jumping in to here. Okay. I believe that's everybody. It is everybody of mine, yes. Should also be everybody of mine. Alright, you're Since up. Since I was the loser. Easy. <laughs> Did I ask you? Is that her? All right, so I've seen from dodgeball. <laughs> uh, the wife, neither carrier this. can see. Like, oh, it means anybody. love. It means love. Hell for love. Different things we've done. for love. Things for different people. Right. Mm, so Ray can't see. Puma can see. That's, that's a widely exposed. Atlas back there. There you go. Considering he tried to be Beautiful. sneaky, he didn't move very far. He is pretty exposed. Some of the Atlas? I think so. That's fine. Yep, long range, but we'll do it. Take a shot that you got so it. So, three, oh. Oh. four, five, six, seven, eight. The Atlas is unscratched at this point. Hopefully that will change. You should be able to get one eight to hit. Come on. Why'd you have to say something? I got one. I missed a dice. <laughs> oh, all right. So that, throw that's that in there too. That's, yeah. So that's one so far. Missed. So got one hit. Told you you get one. I don't leave any out. Next time, say I'll get three. Ah, no. All right. So then we have. He can't do anything. He can't do anything. He can't do anything. So we got the big boy. Here it goes. One, two, three. Four. Dice, you shooting who? Five, six, seven. Oh. <laughs> uh, he is going disrespectful. To, he is going to go for the archer again. Archer. So we got three, four, five, six, seven. Unavailable. Seven. Surely you can get at least two sevens. Oh, let me let me do it the correct way. Skill of three. Thank you. Medium range of five. Uh, plus two, of, so it makes five. Obstruction is another one, makes six. Movement makes seven. There you go. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, there's one. And I think we got exactly one. 
No way. Come on. That's rough. Uh, there's, Come on. Oh, there's, there's, there's that one. Come on. I believe in you. Oh, you yeah. got better than that. So that's two. And then that's an eight. Three. We have got structure four, damage. Four. Four. Four damage. Okay. Four so damage. We are into structure. There's two structure. All right. So you're going to make a crit roll. 2d6? 2d6. So it's just one crit roll for the two. Every time that you mark off any number of structure points, it's one, it's one, one crit. crit. Okay. That's what we've been playing. I just wasn't sure. We played there haven't been any, like, through armor crits yet. 11. 11 is oh. an engine hit. <laughs> so, an engine hit is one of those crits that is unique in that it takes effect the round that you take it. So you have not shot yet. Correct. If you shoot with that unit, I gain heat. you gain heat at the end of the phase. Okay. Well, that's happening. The rest well, of them, that's do, not happening. Well, that's <laughs> the rest of them <laughs> do not apply until after until the next the next round. Start of the next round. round. Uh, I believe that's everybody for me, sir. Okay. All right. Well, we'll start with the guy who's going to take the for marking turn. Crit. I do. If you don't, I got him right here. Nope, I'm right here. Beat you to it. Right, so, Archer. Did you? No, I didn't. On uh, to uh, that. Bracing? Yeah. So he's got a skill of three, four, five for range. Yep. Um, I don't have an obstruction, Correct. so six yep. for there. Um, and I get five dice. Yeah. Five. Can we Archer I against the Daisy. And I need okay. a six. Archer versus Daisy. Yep. Six. Six. Exchange of fire is what we're doing there. Okay, that's a five. That's not good. This is your dice suck. <laughs> uh, like I three. like the fact that you can blame him for it. That's yeah. awesome. Yep, three. So three hits. Well, they look great. How many hits? Three. Three. Okay. All right. So just to just to show this off a little bit, this is something that I came up with. You can buy these off of Aries Games. I I came up with this little bead system for being able to mark and track various different crits that happen in the game so that not only do you remember but also your opponent can also remember so each time a crit happens um, you can put these out and help track I did this for myself just because every time I did heat or I had heat I always forgot okay. that I have to remove that two inches of movement so when I would reach for the miniature and saw a red deal, I would go, oh, wait a minute, and go back and fix that. Cause so that's what heat does, is minus two movement? It's a two-edged sword. Two it's minus two inches of movement yeah. per heat point and a plus one to hit yeah. per heat point. Yeah. When you get over, t when you have two heat points, then it's also a minus one TMM. Yeah. Uh, all right, so Phoenix Hawk also on to the, that thing. He's got a skill of two, right? Your yes. archer shot? Yes. Yep. Um, so, so two, uh, three, four for jumping, mm -hmm. five, six, seven, yep. take it. Both of them hit. Two Sorry, who's shooting you? Uh, the Phoenix Hawk. I'm um, the Dire Wolf. I'm the Dire Wolf. Okay, and then. How many hits? Two hits. Two hits. And then the Atlas. That was long range. I see some focus fire going on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finally. Oh. Uh, so who's now Atlas is Atlas shooting. onto Direwolf. Direwolf. Okay. So three, four is main, main skill. No, sorry, four for his main skill. Um, eight with the range, nine for. Uh, okay. Uh, so. uh, uh -oh. Do you want me to re roll the two that fell out? If you want, that's fine. Okay, good, because I missed with those two. <laughs> Well then, no. Okay, uh, one hit. It was the two I rerolled. <laughs> there are, if I have this correct, there are no armor pips left. Correct. Okay. He stands there bold and armorless. Naked. Naked as a jaybird. After firing half his weapons every round. So that is every <laughs> round. <laughs> You're going to remember that one. Uh-huh. You're going to remember that one for a long time. All right. That is everybody, so... Initiative? Uh, yep. Uh, well, end phase, I took... I take heat. Yep. Nothing else was destroyed, else. right? Correct. Correct. So we have no recalculations to make. Correct. Oh. 
And as you play, guys, a lot of this will become habit. I mean, how you mark your stuff, uh, how you move your movement dice, how you calculate. The more games you play, you're just you'll find a you'll find a, a thing that works. Hopefully, it's right. You may go first, sir. All right. <clears throat> At some point in time, we should probably establish an end game time. We've probably been streaming for, uh, yeah, about two hours at this point in time. But that is up to you guys. I am. I don't play it out. I'm okay. Sounds We're good. close. Sounds good. Uh -oh. You're up, Ken. Cupcake break. Cupcake break. Cupcake break. No, no. <laughs> I'm coming back. Hopefully, my wife wasn't wasn't watching the stream. <laughs> What are the odds, huh? Mm. Bad combination, gaming and smoked meats. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to let this out in the open. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, what did you do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do a shout out on the screen? Hey, Alexander, clean your room. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander, you're famous. <laughs> and I'm moving two units, right? Correct. You're moving two units this turn, two units next turn. Okay. Let me see. AK Craig says, I like to track crits with different colors of smoke. He has red for engine hits, black for fire control, white for movement points. And it looks fantastic on the game board. Yellow for <laughs> weapon. I like to toss liquid fire crackers on the table to replicate to uh, <laughs> 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 play AK Craig. That's how I like to play next shooting. to it, but not made of drugs. Okay. Oh boy. So let's talk about how we sink heat. Oh. Mm -hmm. So okay. the only way that you can sink heat is either go in the water, and then you can sink for free by one, okay. or don't shoot. Okay. <coughs> that ain't happening. Engine that ain't happening. happening. <laughs> engine, hits Engine, hits suck. Engine hits are rough. <laughs> But we ain't moving far. Hmm. Don't have to worry about that. Dude, this is when that SRM carrier comes around the corner and says, Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Will yeah. you be my friend? <laughs> I, I want to get those, those can SRM I, Can fire I fire talk to you about car them. insurance? This is about your Tell people to put the new SRM and LRM carriers in the rec guides full of turrets and a lot of armor. The reinforced that was your last yeah. one? <laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. He has this one left to move. Mm -hmm. Okay. You didn't hear that, Sean. I didn't hear it. Oh, anything. you have the Pumi yet to move, too, so you should move anything. him first. Yeah, because yeah, you have to move you? twice. Oh, that's right. How many inches we got there? And again, you can probably go two directly out, so you could go yeah. ten inches from... We got two and a half inches to the edge, so... Well, I'm saying you could go two inches. You could come yeah. out this way. Yeah, if you spend, that way. if you go, you, you could go ten inches from like here, that yeah. way if you wanted, because those are the broken Yes. Yeah. So it's like, I think yeah, they're gonna get a lot of business yeah. from these streams. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> broken egg. Yeah. Well, the problem is. But did you mention that during the stream? Freaking Copa that bought them out at LBO. Right. That's right. <laughs> well, they have to have more. Well, they'll make more. Their, they'll, they'll make more. Maybe they should, uh, I don't know, sponsor some tournaments and get a whole lot of business right. from WNRP. Your turn, sir. And their legendary tournament scene. I wish I could take a picture and post it to the chat just so people would see what the setup looks like to do this. Or post it to the Facebook page and yeah. show people what, what, I, I, what, I took a already. what we're working with. I'll take yeah. one from over here, too. Um, 
as we smile here on the camera. So many pictures, guys. I'm not supposed to be here today. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> oh dear, that's a failure. <sighs> Cupcake on there. So. <laughs> yeah, don't be wrecking my mats, man. All right. So I need to be two inches in to be able to get the bonus for not for being in there. Is that what? Is it two inches in or no? Within two inches. Within two inches. How does? So if I jump and I got a one foot jump. So, yeah, I think so that would put me... As long as you're within two inches of the edge, you don't pay the cost, but I do. So if I if I go right there, that seems that seem about right? Yep. Okay. Is that one guy? Oh, that one. This is the way. Oh. <laughs> oh. That uh, sacrifice in the Phoenix Hawk, are you? Kind of. I don't know. I've got the... So that's what we were talking about. Like, this gives me the pluses for being in there, but I don't get the... You don't pay to shoot out, you get the bonus in. Right. Right. So that was kind of the, the idea. So right now it's just this, these two that have moved, or all three? All three of them have moved. All three of them have moved. You have last move. You won, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have single last move. Yep. yep. Which is by design. Yep. The whole front loading is by design that you get single last move, not... So if I want, I could move the four inches I'm gonna try this and touch bases. And touch bases. Would that give me? You get no combat. Oh, this is actually a very, a very smart move. We should do this because if he moves into base contact with the hawk, the hawk can't shoot him. Okay. He can't shoot the hawk, right? But he can shoot something else. Okay. Can the hawk shoot something else? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You just you know melee. You cannot. You could kick him if you want, or yeah, I'll kick him. You can do a physical attack, right? I keep kick and punch from the classic, but you could do a physical, and then you're doing your size damage. Calculates the same way as you do a short range damage. Okay. Only it's done on a single two d six roll. Okay. And it's two points of damage. Okay. But that would, I, just, I do this all the time, is get into base contact because then I know these two things, I have already affected the field of fire for that unit. Right. It's a fantastic move. Or if you uh, playing Mario, one way to get away from his tanks, you got to get, get into in base contact. You, we've, we've, we've said that on the stream before too, when you're playing vehicles, mask vehicles, a, little, a lot like what Mario has most of the time, getting into base contact, when you move and you can get a unit because of the way he deploys or way you should deploy tanks in pairs or, or and keep them kind of together. But like what you did with your wasp over here, if you could have turned, if they would have moved already, you move your hex so that you can touch two points. Okay. Now all of a sudden those two tanks cannot shoot that guy. Sure. But you're moving yourself in a strategic position. Okay. Sure. <coughs> okay. Alright, so that was con that now it's my combat? Yep. We are at combat. You shoot first. Alright. Um, Sorry, Mario, for giving away how to play you. <laughs> so I come to WNRP for tips on how to beat Mario. <laughs> I'm not saying that it won't work all the time because this tanks all throw a lot of damage, but no. check you can't, you can't, you can't hang back. Hit him, I think. So that's. Now we're going to start from back. Oh, you got to recognize that it finally, it felt good to finally so, be beaten by Mario. So medium range for that. <laughs> and a tournament setting. Um, and uh, so I've got. That doesn't look like six inches of woods either, so they definitely have line of sight. Yeah. But it's a plus one for the woods. Plus one through. for the woods. Okay. Yep. So four for, for skill, five, six for range, seven. For this, for that, eight for your TMM, and then one for there you go. So nine, nine. 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 So Who's shooting him? The Atlas, Atlas, Atlas on the direwolf. Okay. So there's an eight. I got one nine. One 
point. So roll the critical. Okay. Yeah. That's the structure. Four. Yeah. Come on, 12. Four. I'll take four. Four is a fire control hit. Yeah, that'll help you. All right. Next my, my archer. <laughs> if you have overheat, now's the time to use it. I do. One, two, three. Archer shooting nice. Four. Uh, yes. So the deck, I'm the deck. Okay. So, three, four, five for range, six, seven, six, six for obstruction, obstruction seven for uh, just TMM. And I have, I'm also heat, so I have a plus one, so eight. There you go. One five pairs of dice? Yeah. And you're already hitting? Nope. Yep. Five, six, but he is going to get another heat eight. point because he's fired. Mm. Five, six, seven, eight. So it's two more. Two hits? Yes, two, two hits. Okay. And you get another crit roll. Okay. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine nothing. is nothing. Nothing. Right. Those suck. Okay. Uh, and then the Phoenix Hawk. And I added an extra heat oh, okay. point as well for you. Okay, so then, then the Phoenix Hawk on the Dire Wolf. Whatever that is. Yep. Uh, two, three, four for jumping, mm -hmm. five, six for range, seven for TMM, eight for obstruction. Perfect. Well done. Misses. Oh. I don't like really we've, we've said this on the stream a couple of times too. Alpha Strike is. It's a relatively simple game to learn how to play, mm -hmm. but the nuances within it oh, yeah. are a lifetime, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what I figured out. <laughs> it's medium range from the Puma to the Atlas. So you got three for skill, two for range, that's a five, movement of one, so that's six. Yep. Three dice. Soft targets. So. That was we've got the uh, SRM carrier is going to fire at the uh, archer. No, at the Atlas. Atlas. Okay. And you do not have trees. SRM one, one or two. Uh, SRM one. two. Ooh. That's two. Oh my bad. That was four. <laughs> yeah, I, was like, I looked over here. I, I saw one. Three. All right. Never mind. I say anything. Well, I wasn't going to put them on three or four. It's just the first and the second. That's three. Three. Oh, oh. Four, five, six. Shooting at the Atlas. Shooting at the Atlas. Base of four, range of six, plus one from one to seven. How many bases does that thing get? Six. Six. But the little bitty guy. guy. Yeah. Jesus. So I'm talking about targeting <laughs> priority. <laughs> <laughs> Three hits. That's a little more like it. A little better. A little better output. Yeah, not really. That was three, you said? Yep. I'm not thinking that's better. <laughs> 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 All right. And then the dire wolf on the. We'll go for the archer. Uh, that's base of three. Range two is at five. Obstruction is six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one for overheat, so eight. Nice. And that's a seven stay here. Correct. One more. One more. You only need four. Hmm? You only need four. Yeah. Let me re-roll that one. I have them. Okay. Same number. Imagine that. 
That's a miss. Has been to be. Mm -hmm. That's a miss. I've gotten better luck out of me rolling. That's a miss. <laughs> Miss, that's a miss. Oh my god, he just started hitting. That's a miss. Oh my god! <laughs> All misses. <laughs> what were you rolling? All misses. Seven. Seven? I rolled eight. eight pairs of dice, and I can get a single Eight dice on seven, seven. he didn't hit. It's oh, unbelievable. Wow. It's that scene in uh, Pulp Fiction when they shoot at him and they miss <laughs> Why are we, why are we <laughs> using Sean's dice? <laughs> I totally blame him. Totally, totally wrong. If those were my them. dice, I would I've have thrown them away by now. I've been saying the whole game. These dice suck. <laughs> Maybe they're just camera shy. Uh, that's everybody. That was your uh, Daishi that overheated by one? Yep. So, initiative. Yep. Uh, make sure you put, if you're going to do the die, make sure you stick it on the back of the base. Oh, yeah. I typically just, like, way over here. So okay. At home. Just that's fair. The, that's fair. That way I, I know I still have to move them. And I know it's not marking me. So we're done shooting? You? We are done shooting. So initiative? Yep. Um, okay. You want initiative. Round five? Six. Five. Round five. Okay. My archer can now move four. Got close to eliminating some units there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in rough Nothing shape. sadder than having a Daishi with just one or two pips left on the board. Yeah. <laughs> well, nothing happier for you. Well, the <laughs> Nothing sadder for him. My whole idea of taking him was for him to be basically the distraction. That's a pretty nice... I mean, it's a lot of points to throw for a distraction, but... He might Mr. have been. Me would be proud of you. He might have been slightly more useful if I had been shooting all of his weapons every turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, let's let's go with let's go with that. <laughs> more effective by throwing all of the dice for that range. <laughs> when I when I play a game with no errors made, I can retire. That's when I will be done. Will not happen. I, uh, yeah, I will be done playing. Uh, Archer moves. I yeah. woke up in the middle of the night Thursday night from a picture that I posted on Facebook of that gala glass that had two fire mm -hmm. control and two weapon. Mm -hmm. And I swear to God that I was rolling three dice with him. And woke up in the middle of the night going, shit, I made a mistake. Because <laughs> how much does he have? He does four usually. <laughs> and I think I was still rolling three dice with him even though I had the beat out there too. It was just stupid. So you can, not just you. Mm -hmm. So sorry, Mr. Richards, if you're watching, that I, I may have cheated you a point or two. <sighs> Wait, I don't think you were rolling Jairus. three. That was Jairus that I played, so I apologize to Jairus. Oh, you were rolling threes to hit, not fours. I was rolling three weapon instead of two. Oh. Because oh. I had two weapon hits, and I was still rolling three dice, so. Gotcha. Three sets. Gotcha. I thought you were rolling fewer sets of dice than you should have. No, no, I was, I was cheating for the better. Oh, okay. Well, as long as you cheat in your own self-interest, you're doing it right. Exactly. <laughs> you're not cheating. So you're saying. So you're saying. <laughs> so you're saying I was doing it wrong today. Definitely, you were doing yeah. it very wrong. <laughs> it's all about you know cheating in a way that your opponent can't I'm catch you. Back, <laughs> yep. back no, that's not true. That's a horrible. That's a horrible thing. I want to make sure I got at least an inch out of it. Nope. That's what she said. <laughs> No, she said she got more than it. <laughs> they always want more. <laughs> All right, my turn. And I still have to move two? Yeah. Yep. tradition after um, finishing playing here is usually to go to Smokey's for some barbecue. <laughs> wait, wait, Smokey's came to us. We still can go there after we're <laughs> oh, playing. <okay. laughs> we still can. <laughs> there wait, should we bring our leftovers with us? This is America. You can have barbecue twice in one day. <laughs> exactly. You moved down right. No one says we couldn't go there. 
I was like, oh I'd my god, I think I'd we had, be lying it. I think I had goals. <laughs> if it was, wasn't part of the reason why I came to this was for the food. <laughs> Maybe Smokies should start to sponsor tournaments as well. That would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I am disappointed that we don't get a boat ride today. Now you moved. <laughs> Four inches. Four inches. Yeah, I am pulling my boat out for you today. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we, we, I need to be fair to measure, measure something. I want to measure about my Phoenix Hawk and move here. Absolutely. Phoenix Hawk is All right, so uh, and then 12 kilometers. Actually, I guess I need to be here. No, no. Oh, I just barely. Yeah, I can almost view it. Death from above? Oh, I could do that. Well, mm -hmm. But he still has to move. He's moved already. You can already. do it. So if he's moved already, I can land on him. Yep. If you so desire, I uh, see you take above. your size damage back. That'd be a way to go. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing a death from a boat pulled out. Watching the Phoenix Hawks it's, kill itself. It's immortalized here on it if you catch it on camera. Off. It's immortalized. Right. How could so, you not? So, right there, death from above. I'm going to put right it on him. You're going to put it right in front so that you would be technically base to base, but you're on different levels, but okay. that's so fine. You still have nine and I still have five. Right? There we go. So go nice. Come on, my, my first ever AS350 game. DFA right there, baby. I do death I hope this, I hope this happens. <laughs> come big or don't come at all. I, I really hope, I really hope that happens. <laughs> I want to see that. Combat. Yep. Ooh. If you fail, you take sides plus one. If I fail, that's it. Yep. Size plus if one. I succeed, I probably done two, but because I have three hit less left. Well, if you succeed, you, you'll still have one left. On to attack right. phase. Yep. yep. How does right. this work? Let's that's go for that one. Let's so go we're going to do that one first. Let's do the elephant in the room first. Yep. Phoenix Hawk versus Daishi. So DFA is a plus one. So you're going to calculate this just as you would a short range attack. Okay. So you're at a skill two. Yep. Two. You jumped makes it four. His TMN makes it a five. So it's six to hit. Six for a DFA. All right. I'm going to reroll the one that's gone off. Oh, you got to roll. Oh, you've been only been rolling. I've only been rolling. Seven. It, it, roll? I hit. need a six. Need a six. I rolled a seven. So you are going to take um, size plus one. So you're going to take three points of damage. He's dead. He only had two. Okay. And you're going to take two points of damage. Okay. That was epic. Yeah. Uh, that got me on the board. Now, can you shoot a DFA unit? Absolutely. Incoming uh, or no? Because it's technically base to base contact. So I would think no. The di the the dire wolf will not be able to shoot. The unit that's in base contact with him, correct? Okay. That works good for me. Yeah, that just means we'll have to shoot the archer. I nice. understand. I understand something has to die. You can do a melee. You can melee him. Mm. Oh, there you go. I like that idea. What's that? One point of damage? Four. Four? Because well, he's size four? I have one. So, <laughs> maybe. Okay. Uh, well, oh, I mean, so, physical and physical. So, right term, so I say it correctly. Uh, uh, archer, close range on. Missile buff one there. Mm -hmm. um, so three. And then the Phoenix Hawk took two damage back. In yeah. Return. Yes. Are right, you going to make a crit roll on yours? Oh yes. Okay. So crit roll on the Phoenix Hawk. Three. Uh, is a. The Phoenix Hawk received this crit. Yes. yes. Yep. He did it to himself. I find uh, structure. Three's engine. Jesus. Oh. Engine. Yeah. Engine hit. Woo. Okay, well, probably won't matter. <laughs> so, Archer close range at at the missile platform there. Yep. Um, so, one, two, three. Archer to who? To Archer the, to SRM carrier number two. Number two. Uh, so, uh, skill three. I get one for each heat that I'm sitting on. 
uh, plus one, and you actually, because you're at a plus two, yeah, go. you don't have a TMM. Oh. At two heat, you lose a TMM as well. Okay. Um, well, that was, yeah, uh, that'll become important later. All right, so plus one for each heat. So that's a three, four, five, six, uh, and as far as in the... Is that counting as obstruction or no? Uh, you're still within trees, so you get okay. a plus one. Okay. okay, so where'd I go here? <laughs> it six was three, four, five, one, seven. six, seven. Seven, seven to hit. Versus that's around carrier number two. Yep. So, so there's at least one, one hit. Two, three hits. Three hits. Okay, so number two. Structure. Yep. So roll for critical. And motive. Uh, so an 11 for critical. Oh. And then it's one dice? For motive? Uh, two dice for motive. Okay. So 11 for the crit? Four. Four for motive. Vehicle 11. And a four does nothing. You have to hit nine or above okay. for okay. motives to do anything. And an 11 crit Vehicle 11 is crew killed. Oh. Nice. Yeah. That's good. So, and there's nowhere to mark that. So you just uh, that's, it's that's, a remove, it's, it's yeah, a remove yeah, the, the unit from the table. Okay. <coughs> does he still get to fire? Uh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, and that's everything? Uh, Phoenix Hawk. He killed. He uh, killed. Atlas, ran, uh, Atlas fired. Did Atlas? No, Atlas hasn't fired yet. Right? Uh, so no, I he hasn't because above. he yeah. did death okay. first and then him. All right. Then. So the Atlas, this is, let's see. Uh, I'm going to fire into that one. Okay. That's where I'm one? Yes. So I wanted to double check because I wanted to double check the DFA. It does say special physical attacks. Both special both special attacks are declared in the movement phase. They can only be declared if the attacking unit can move far enough to end its movement in base-to-base -base contact with this target. Okay. So I just wanted to double check and make sure that you can't shoot at him, and that is correct. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, so technically, the DFA should have been done. Or before any firing, it does not matter. It's or still it so did. in Alpha Strike. I know, I know. I in Alpha meant. Strike, there's movement phase and then combat phase. In Classic, there's movement, combat, physical. Yep. You can only do one or the other, right? So it all happens in the weapons okay. phase. So, okay. however you want to resolve it is up to you. Okay. Right. Four for skill, five, six for range, seven for your TMM. Yep. Six. There's one. One hit. One hit. That's it. Yep. That's, one, on I guess that's one. That's yep. the only other one. Yep. And what do you need to do now? Uh, yep. I have to roll. Motive. Uh, nine or better for motive. Five, six, seven, eight. 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 Nothing. Okay. And that's me. Oh, okay. So Puma's got a skill of three. Medium range is five. Medium range is plus two makes five. Uh, I believe I'm going to go for the archer. Uh, so that's five plus obstruction is six. That's it. Go ahead. Two and three. Um, what the hell? We'll do an overheat to make it four. You doing that on the Puma? Yep. And the archer. That's his third time firing. Yep. 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 Puma's also going one overheat, Sean. Oh my okay. God. Because I need sixes, so I better roll at least four pair of dice. <laughs> That's fair. Shake them good, baby. Shake them good. Uh, it's one hit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Roll for a crit. Two d six. Yes. Uh, three. Three. Eight. Eight is a weapon hit. That's on the archer? Yep. Awesome. Going for the rainbow of colors here. There you go. <laughs> 30 flavors. All right, four for skill, two for range makes six, no. plus movement makes seven. On the, from SRM carrier one to the atlas. Yes. Two, oh my god. Four. Hit with four, please. Yeah. Just okay. make the day okay. Six. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. This is the most, yeah. the most agile yeah. atlas yeah. ever. Ninja Atlas. Uh, SRM one to Atlas. That's why he's dressed in black. SRM one to Atlas. Yep. Any sixes? 
Sixes. 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 Yep. Sixes. Four. Four. Six, seven. 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 He's got a TML. Yep. One. Four. Oh, I'm five, sorry. Six, seven. 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 One hit. Come on, Andrew. Two um, hit. I haven't had enough to have a food coma yes. yet, so I don't know what's going on. I hit you with two. Okay. Two hits on the Atlas. Yeah. You are not hitting averages like at all. No. Uh, uh, Sean, I hit your dice. <laughs> I'm never coming over here again. <laughs> Uh, the other, the dead SRM carrier, number two, is going at the, let's go for the archer. Right. Okay. Let's get another point off the table. Come on. Well, if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. I know you're not rolling really well, but let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. Because you're rolling six dice, right? You could go three at the, at the archer and oh. go three oh, you at split the, your fire? No, you yeah. can't split your fire. It's a plus one to the secondary target. Right. 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 Yeah. Plus another two for range, so. And obstruction. Well, you could, you could go. This is your primary target, right? Yeah. So you'd have four, six, seven, eight, yeah. and then go four, five. Yeah. Or, or all of them at five. Or all of them at, or all of them at fours. So. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, all of them at fours is really good. Uh, all of them at four sounds really good to me. <laughs> You're going to hit all of them. Yeah. And, the, and they will all be on 10s. No, you haven't rolled yet. All crits. What, what you're rolling to hit? No, 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 no. The way you've been rolling, you're only hit with three. <laughs> two. <laughs> two. All they need is three. All they need is three. I need three, so I'm going to roll two. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being there. Number one, number two, number all of them. It could be all of them. All of them. What's the roll to hit? Four. 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 Come on. There's one. Uh, one. Two, two, three, I see. Yeah. Three. That's a dead archer. Yep. That's one more point for me. So two points. Yep, that's all. He's gone. Okay. And he is gone. Is he shot? Alright. Uh, he shot. He shot. That, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. He has not shot. Feel good he about can't that. shoot anything. <laughs> Feel good. Uh, so it's his turn. <laughs> Small victory. Yeah. So it's well, his turn. Like now I get that thing back over here. <laughs> so if I wanted to do a return physical, I can? Yes. Okay. Like from the ground. Because I don't think, I think that's about six inches of tree. So, yeah. so skill of three plus his, his jump would make five. Three, six. This is got a three shell, so you'd have sixes to hit. Six. And I just roll one. One, one set of dice. You need a six. No pressure or anything. Need a six or better on one set of dice. This will be. This is your time. I feel it. This is your time. Uh, if it doesn't, I'm just going to say it right now. So nobody's surprised. I'm flipping the table. Not what I was expecting. Camera boom anyway. Oh. I'll let you reroll that one. Oh, yeah. The game stays the same. Alright. So that's that's Phoenix Hawk now down. Yep. Okay. There you go, sir. Thank you. And these games that I've played. There you go, sir. Thank you. So it comes down to the Atlas versus versus infantry else. vehicle and Puma. And initiative now, right? Mm -hmm. Are you guys done? Yep. Yep. So and I've got two points now? Yeah, let's uh, I'm yeah, you've scored at 53 there, so yeah, easily. You're at probably 40, what? 80, 92, and 53. So you're okay, so eight I'm points away from scoring three points. So it's just one to one still? Or one to he's one? Two, at the he's two to one. Two to one. I heard 93. Two to one. He has two okay. to one. But I'm seven so points away from my second point. Something like that. I don't know, because I don't know. I mean, 67 points for the dice you alone. 67, 90, and so it's two to two. Two to two. Two to two. Right. two. Yeah. Okay. Great. All comes down to this. No pressure. No pressure. So, initiative. Initiative. Okay. I think that's. Do I want these dice? I don't know. Have you been with initiative? Initiative wise, you've been doing Stay it. Stay with it. All right. Well, Six to, uh, nine to eight. Right. Oof. You better move. So I have, uh, I'm with three units first, right? 
That is correct. That was my goal. <laughs> I've accomplished my goal. All right. And he's got a movement of 10, not 12 now. So just heat, right? Yep. Now you could go into the water mm -hmm. and it's shoot true. out of the water and take care of the heat. Shoot oh. and not and and not gain your heat. You would you wouldn't right. lose your heat point. I mean, if you shot the same, you could lose your heat point. Right. Not even close to six inches. And it's uh, water like woods is two inches for every inch. So to actually enter in the water, oh, you need a skill. You need to nope. nope. You go in the, to go in the water. Mm -hmm. It's the one inch to go in. Mm -hmm. It's two inches for elevation change, mm -hmm. and another inch because it's water. Okay. So it's four inches to enter into water. Okay. And then uh, two two inches, two per, inches per inch moved while you're in. So four, then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten. So basically, he can move two inches in. Sounds like. Yep. Oh uh, no, you can move ten inches. Yep. So four inches. So you got six. So you can move three inches. Three inches. Three inches from the edge. Is that right over? I don't want to bump terrain. You're happy with that? Well, I'm not One thing that I would have done, that, him that I would have tried to make sure mm -hmm. that you stay six inches away from him, right? Yeah. Otherwise, he can run up and go into base contact, and then your biggest gun's taken out. You yeah. know what I mean? True. Thanks for telling. Me. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to. I gotta let you make the mistake, but then I can talk about it. Six inches, but it does clip the trees. Yep. And but that would not be six inches. And those guys are out of those guys out are out range. range. All right. So you get to pound on them a little bit, huh? Four, six, we'll try. seven, eight. Back to shooting again. I was yep. hoping to get the six inches. Right. Well, these rounds are going faster and faster. So if I if I fire my normal, not overheat. I'm still at one heat starting next round. Who's playing? Or who's shooting? Because of the water? No, if you if you overheat mm -hmm. this turn, you stay at one heat. Oh, okay. If you fire your normal damage, you lose that heat point. Okay. And the plus one heat point means also plus one for me to hit him, right? Correct. Okay. Puma's shooting? Uh, the Puma is shooting at the Atlas, yes. Puma's shooting at the SRM carrier, just to finish it off. Just so I can kill something. Just to make it easy. Just so I can have killed something. You killed that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean the Puma. Oh, okay. The Puma has done nothing all game. His three points are like, uh, miss. Nope. Hey, what's over there? Alright, so three, four for my heat, five, six for range, movement is seven, woods were barely in, so eight. Yep. And I did that all out of order, hmm. just to annoy Sean. <laughs> Well, now you're learning, okay? <laughs> yep. Something has been learned. Annoy Sean. Uh, Do what you can to annoy Sean. Learned. Two hits. <laughs> Imagine that. Two hits. On the Atlas? Yep. Holy shit. That's I know, right? Like the personal best. I, I actually, the personal two out of three. What the? <laughs> I actually think that's the most oh the Atlas God. has taken on one shot so far. Okay? I can't believe it. Never has a barn been so hard to hit with, uh, right. with a rifle. Uh, 
All right, uh, so four. Range another two, so that's six. So uh, the SRM carrier. carrier. To the Atlas. Six. Uh, okay. Woods makes seven. Eight for his movement. Eight. There is a statistical chance that this is going to do it. So we should get in the, so we should get in the hall, or in the structure. Right. Eight are better on six pair of dice. Let's go, baby. I'm still on Come on. on. I believe in you. There's one. There's one. Uh, we said eights are better? Yep. You said eights. Two. two. Three. Nope, that's a different die. Oh, sorry. This one. Yeah. That one. Okay. So two. So uh, uh, that's a miss. One. That's uh, three. That's a miss. So three out of six. Okay. So go ahead and roll a crit. Oh. You're two into structure. Oh, wow. Well. It's actually really dire for the whole. Five. Not also not. No. Okay. Which Figures. Is, that's my favorite. Five nines. <laughs> Uh, that's everything for me. All right. are, are you like trying to set people up for Adepticon where they, you know, have a, a really good feeling? I'm playing against Ken. I saw him on the very <laughs> I saw him. I don't have to worry about nothing, and then you're going to bring hot dice and you're just going to smoke everything. Well, they won't be Sean's dice. <laughs> no. They won't be Sean's dice. Yeah, we're not using Sean's dice at Adepticon. All right, back at you. So, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Good luck charming back. Who's shooting who? All right. Who's shooting who? The Atlas on the Puma. Puma. How many dice? Three sets. Three sets. The Puma is not overheated anymore, or is? Correct. Not. All right. It will not be. It's in the room. So, seven. One hit. Six and nine. What did I need? Seven, I thought you said? Or no. So. Four, four, five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. Eight. So one hit. One hit. Okay. Nine. Nine. He has partial cover in the water. Oh, plus okay. one more for the water. Still, so he still got a nine. So still got a nine. So. Yep. So still one. Okay. All right. So initiative. Yeah, because I was hoping to get out. Very short. Hoping to get a lot farther out of that round than that. But <laughs> man, give me that. You ain't kidding. Back. Seven, nine. nine. I go first again. Not that it matters who I go first. Uh, four inches to go down for infantry. Infantry? He's got jump jets. Oh, he has jump. Okay, my yeah. bad. Should he should? Let me just go ahead and double check. Six F. So he doesn't Foot. have jump. Does not have okay. jump. So four inches from the back. And he can go two inches if he's a six-inch move. You can go two inches with him if you're going down. Right, so there, basically. Four inches to get out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see not many people watching. <laughs> huh? It's my. Never seen people. It's my personality. Never seen twenty-three. People it's just my. Before. It's my big magnetic personality. <laughs> <laughs> That's my four to get out. Hi, Bob. Four to get out. Yep. So he's got a twelve inch. So you can do eight inches from there if you get out. Eight inches from. Oh there. no. You'd have to. So that's, that's his full move, but he costs. How, There's what's one, the, two, three inches to this direction. So six, two, four, six, ten. You could go two inches ten, from the edge. Two. Okay. So then, in order for me to move to the end of the water, so you're looking at what is the distance from the back of your hex. Oh, I'm sorry, what's this distance here? It's one inch. One inch. So you're down to five. Yep. So you would be able, so it's four inches to go into the first inch. I think you would be able to move an inch from the edge. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. 
shooting phase. Yes. Battle armor can't see anything. Or they can see it. They can shoot it. Now we are in still medium range, correct? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, that's handy tool. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me about this earlier, Mr. Crow? So, four, five, six for medium, seven for movement, eight for water. Correct. Eight. Oh, so we should do? Oh, oh time out. Time out. We do need to make your Puma did take a hit while in water last round, correct? It did take one hit. Took took one hit. Yes. So we need to make that hull breach roll. Okay. Oh, do so I before but again, so this is this is a good example of missed opportunity versus game state. Mm -hmm. That is a game state thing that we have to resolve. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna do this because you were right there. roughly yep. there. Yeah. Right? Yep. So let's make that hull breach roll first. So you're gonna roll on your skill plus two. You need to meet or exceed that. So whatever the skill is, five, plus so two. So I need to roll five or better? Five or better. With Sean's dice? Oh my god. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Good luck, man. Good luck. What can I say? The dice are loyal to me. I see this way if they fail, I can still blame Sean's dice. Right. Yes. Oh, no, I get it. I exactly. Get it. If I fail with my dice, then that's a whole other story. Because well, i, I got to melt them down and go by new. And <laughs> fail. All right. So... Yep. What we're gonna wow. so let's roll, hey guys. roll. Oh, hold on, roll to see what your crit is first. So roll that again. Five. A five is nothing. So everything's fine. We're we're we're, we're okay. You had the whole breach. You rolled a five or a nine. Still nothing happens. The reason that we had to stop there though is that if you would have had an MP hit or a, a weapon, or whatever, we would have had to make sure that we resolve that before we get in further. Okay. So. Again, here, like if you hit him again, right, you're going to be doing that breach roll. Now, he's within structure, yep. so I think he automatically takes it. I'm going to find that. Oh, that. Oh, kind of like classic. So go ahead, keep going. I'll find it. All right, so four for skill, medium is six, seven, eight. So eights out of six dice. And you need two. So who's shooting who? Uh, uh, SRM carrier against the Atlas. Six. Eight. Eight's are better now. Come on. There's one. Uh, I think that's one. You gotta be kidding me. That's a mess. That's a mess. You gotta be kidding me. Calm down. It's a miss. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Uh, that is a miss. So you one hit. Gotta be kidding me. He's he's leaving it for the puma. Yeah. Unbelievable. Roll up. Oh, critical. Critical. Yeah. A five would be good. Okay. Hey, just stop. Just stop. <laughs> uh, ten. What's ten? Uh, was a fire control. Fire control. Oh, also, I'm uh, still trying to find where damage is in water. But he still took damage while in water, so he's got to make the whole roll? Underwater damage. So, with the exception of damage from energy attacks, all damage from underwater weapon attacks, hit a submerged unit is reduced by half. However, uh, reflect. Uh, blah, blah, blah. To reflect flooding due to hull breaches, every successful attack against a submerged unit uh, generates a critical hit chance, even if there is no structure damage. See critical hit. So roll another critical. A partially submerged unit can avoid a hull breach on a 2d6 roll, target number equal to its plus two. Success negates the negate of a hull breach. If a completely submerged unit loses all of its armor, it automatically sinks and is considered destroyed. A completely submerged. So you are not completely submerged. I was curious whether because you were already in structure, okay, whether well, you whether that affected anything as well. So I go up, but I have to roll for that hit versus. So you you were in structure already, yep. right? And you hit him, so you automatically take that crit. Yep. You need to make my uh, a whole brief roll as well. So my my skill. Four plus two. You need a six or better. Four, six or better. Okay. Come on. Eight. 
The Atlas just does not want to go down. I'm not 100% we did that right. I think we're pretty close. It, it feels I'm going to regret this later, but I'm overheating that Puma again. Okay. Let's do it. So three, four, five, six, seven. Too much of who? Puma to Atlas. It's the only thing I have left. Atlas. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at the computer, not the, okay. not the right. field of fire here. Right. Seven right. to better. On the, on the Atlas. From the tank? Oh, from no, the from the Puma. Puma. He's okay. Fire the tank. All right. Just remember, you, you only need one. 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 You only need one, one cat. Why'd you guys say it out loud? <laughs> <laughs> Seven or better? You're going to hit with all of them. I'm using my witchcraft. Yeah. 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 Every one of you down. Thanks for a good all. show. Uh, that's uh, eight. 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 one. There's one. No, this is a hit. That's a hit. Seven, eight. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So that's, he's dead. <gasps> okay. But now I'm on an initiative. Him. I'm going to try and burn that puma down. <laughs> Puma's got more armor than the uh, Mr. M carrier. Overheat for two. Yep. Woo! So I'm, I'm going to be firing five at him. <laughs> Atlas shooting Puma? Yep. 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 So four, five, six for range, seven. Seven. Okay. Okay, so there's, there's one. There's, there's a crit. Two. Nice, finally, natural crit. Just two. Two hits? Two, two hits, hits but a crit. Um, and it's, okay, so it's all his armor, but no critical. Well, or no structure. Come on. Twelves again. Twelve or two. Two. Well, does he have case? He's got energy. Oh. Energy. He's all energy, so, so I need so twelve. Nice. Yep. Four. Four is uh, fire control. Okay. No, four is in, uh, timeout. Four is fire control. Or is a timeout? What? Go the time, huh? <laughs> go with, you have to go, go sit in the corner. Go with your gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who has been taking some fire in? So I, I'm pretty sure you won this. All right. So that means the atlas is destroyed. Correct. We have uh, a rule in the in the rule book as well called no op. The no op protocol is once you have destroyed your opponent, the game ends, and you receive another an additional objective point. But you can only ever score a match of four per So that puts you at four. So that puts you at four. Um, and I think so the game would end at four to two, correct? Let me just do a little updating here. Four to two. So we would add up all of your MOV. Which is 190. 190? So you would score four objectives and 190 is your MOV. And you would score two points and whatever your total MOV is. And you don't have anything that's half structure, right? Everything is, this is just all structure, but he has two. So you, he would have needed to have one of these points marked to be able to get half those points. Mm -hmm. He's dead. He's, he's dead. And he's, he's only got one mark off. So he's you have 67, nine, or 97, uh, seven and 103, 123. So you had two and 123 okay. is what you would score. So we can officially declare Ken, AKA Raptor, as the winner. That is what I'm reading, yes. All right. Well, thank you, gentlemen, that was fun. Congratulations. Despite the dice rolls. <laughs> Despite the dice rolls. Can't hold you down. Okay. Well, Andrew, you wanted to summarize anything? Or Good game, thanks, sir. Um, I don't, I don't think so. Any parting I mean, comments? I, I think that uh, you guys oh, it was a, a good mix of units, and we saw infantry and vehicles, a mix of obviously. Um, would you, what did you guys think? Is there anything that you guys, any knowledge or anything that you would impart to the listeners of? I made this mistake, or I wish I would have done this different. Uh, or fire all your weapons. Yeah. <laughs> no. Was it RTFs? RTFC? Read your effing card. Your effing card. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for showing up. Come over here. Come on over here. Come, on over here. Come over here and show the party. Everybody get in here. <laughs> I got my hands.
got the Z. Yep. All right, all these beautiful people. Just rolling dice in my house here in Columbus, Minnesota. So thank, to thank you, Sean. The world and everybody. Where are we swinging? Oh, we're swimming from this guy. There we go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, thank, thank you guys very thank much you, for showing uh, up, everybody, for, for showing up on the live stream and your comments and corrections. <laughs> and uh, we're going to keep on rolling dice today, I think. So with that, I think we're going to go ahead and sign off to you guys next time. <laughs>